Welcome to a 12th session of the Blue Lamp, my D&D campaign. Um, first thing about me, because I love the sound of my own voice, <laughs> hi, it's me, Francisco, usually called Siska nowadays, that happened. Um, I am the dungeon mommy, I am picking you all up from school, I'm driving you home, and I'm grounding all of you, because you've been playing Baldur's Gate 3 instead of doing your homework. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm joined today by my by four of my um, lovely friends. One moment. So usually we'd be joined by five, but unfortunately, um, our dear friend Loki, otherwise known as Seka, could not join us. I'm just going to put his link in chat for posterity. Um, we wish him the best of luck in his endeavors, and we hope to see him again next time. So uh, don't worry about your. <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you. Don't worry about introductions. I'm going to try my best to do that for you. Instead, um, at the end of this, I'm going to have a little question for all of you. So, first things first. Um, I'm the Dungeon Master. I'm Fran Francisco, pronounced she, her. Um, I want to make this a little bit more organized, so I say it is now uh, 7 p.m. Um, Central European time. We're going to take a break at 20.30. Or Hi. for you, Danny, that was going to be 2.30. Thank you. We're going to take a break for five minutes, and when we come back, we're going to do a little mini Q&A if um, the need arises. After that, we're going to keep playing until 10 p.m. at the earliest and 11.30 at the latest. Or for Danny, that would be uh, 4 p.m. or 5.30. That being said, we're just going to do a little introductory section now. So, I'm joined by, in <laughs> no particular order, um, Ant here. His pronouns are he, him. You know hey, him, you love hey. him. <laughs> Famous kisser of girls <laughs> and uh, enjoyer of beer, Ant here. <laughs> I'm, drink, I'm, I'm, I know. I'm actually drinking wine today, so... Oops. I was going to wine to a D&D &D session, so... Um, <laughs> He's playing Sassetti, our local Wanty monk. Fun fact, I've heard so many pronunciations of Wanty that I'm just going to say anything now. <laughs> uh, also he, him. Uh, he has a big heart, almost no brains, and he's here to um, do good. Hot and try, Next and up, I try. You try. <laughs> Next up, we have Coolster. She, her, playing Stacy. also she, her. Coolster is a tech person, um, also a famous girl kisser and enjoyer of barbecues. And one of the just nicest, cutest people I know. Aww. Not unlike Stacy, though Stacy, um. <laughs> Stacy can cast magic and turn into a dragon, so that's good for her. Uh, next up, we have Danny Rouge. Pronouns she, they. Is that correct? Yes. Pronouns she, they, playing Flora. Uh, they, uh, they, them. Uh, she, her. Um, Flora is a. Elf in quotation marks, of course. But now the party, party, uh, the players know that she's actually a fae, um, and she's here in the mortal realm or, or on a very important business to her that has just gotten a lot more complicated. Danny, of course, needs an introduction or I guess a little introduction. She's an amazing artist. Uh, she's a very hardworking person and one of the most kindest, uh, empathetic people I know. Aww. So thank you, Danny. Yeah. Uh, Calix. Calix, um, absolute fucking degenerate, pronounced they them. Um, <laughs> notoriously, um, extremely quick witted. Uh, thank uh, you. <laughs> extremely hot, and that's not my opinion, that's objective. And a very dear good friend to me. Um, they're playing, uh, the wizard Siomara, also an elf in quotation marks. Now, what she re what they really are is, uh, mystery for now um they're mostly interested in themselves though that might be a little hard lately so before i get into the summary of last session um we get into today's game Ooh. yes it might just be because i've been watching a lot of game shows lately but today there's going to be a game aspect players for each of you i'm going to have a prompt that you're going to uh, need to fulfill over the course of the session so that you can so that I can award your prize at the end of the session. <laughs> what that is, I believe, will be amazing to all of you. And here, Ciceri. 
Uh -huh. um, I need you to be the moral compass of the party at least once. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah. Danny, uh, Flora. I'm going to need Flora to be emotionally honest or have a very emotional moment at least once. Got that? Okay. Diamara. Hmm? I need you to destroy somebody, either <laughs> in conversation or uh, in combat, at least once. <laughs> <laughs> and Stacy, I need you to spring somebody back from the brink, either with healing or with uh, emotional uh, reassurance, at least once. Okay. Aww. So these are the prompts, players. If you can meet them, there will be a surprise at the end. <laughs> Why not both? And there will be no extra pound points if you do both or if you do more than once. Hi, Ronnie. So I will appreciate it. And also, by criteria that I will reveal at the end of the session, there will be a loser today. <gasps> who will receive a certain, a certain punishment. Though rest assured, it's nothing game-breaking. And I think you will also have a little laugh. Nice. So, now we get to the questions. Answer. What is your favorite thing to do in D&D? Ooh. Actually, one of my favorite things to do is like plan uh, before we're doing a, a combat to see how creative we can get with actually fucking with the terrain and lay an ambush. Excellent choice. Though some people would have you believe that the, that everything is up to chance in D and D, and you can't plan for anything. Ooh, that's ooh. that's fun of Thank the part of the plan. <laughs> Thank you, Ante. Danny, what's your favorite thing to do in D and D? I feel bad because I feel like I'm kind of copying Ant here, but like I also like to come up with like ideas slash plans and seeing if I can actually play them out. Not bad. I mean, if it's a good idea, it's going to be a good idea no matter who says it. Nah. Costa, what's your favorite thing to do in d and I think this might be shocking for many people right now, but I'm actually role-playing. <laughs> <laughs> you really No, um, I think the most funny thing is when the, the die are not in your favor and I have to, to come up with something funny with... Uh, with the fail. So yeah, I like that the most. And that's what I love about you too. And finally, last but not least, Calyx. What's your favorite thing to do in D&D? Um, God, I think Besides actually- Besides not dying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that. Um, no, I think actually um, rolling the dice because I like the sound that it makes oh. and the tiny, like, like the, the few seconds between when you roll it and when you see the number, where you do not know what the um, outcome of it will be, like the, the tension and the fear. I like that. Cool. I like the uh, clicky clicky. If anyone actually cares about what I feel, uh, my favorite thing oh. is D&D. <laughs> Hello, magical man forever. Hello, magical man. Please, stay magical forever. <laughs> my favorite thing to do in D&D &D, um, Maybe I'm surprising. I like giving like long anime-esque speeches about like deep themes like morality or death and all that. It's just, just enjoy it. Um, I'm I'm a philosophy student and also a hobby actor, and so these are like two of my favorite things. We're back. We're playing D and D, magical man. Uh, you can actually see it in the categories tab. <laughs> so um, that being said, last session. Um, you came back to the surface. You met up with your old friend and patron, uh, the prince. Of course, to some of you, it was a new patron. Looking at you, Sumara. Sumara, who had to be uh, hired instead of just asked to go on a new quest. In two days, your airship departs, going due west to a large, uh, largely uninhabited forest where supposedly another blue lamp has been sighted. Of course, um... You split up, not really imagining that anything bad would happen. And so Shimara and, and Flora met up uh, at the university where uh, Shimara currently resides to um, to talk about a recent death in the city. 
that has been pinned on Flora, which we, as the players, of course, know is not the case. Ah. Unfortunately, upon revealing this to to um, unfortunately, uh, revealing by revealing this to Xiomara, Flora drew the ire of the strange creature posing as um, a solicitor known as Goodman. Um, before we do that, um, we already, I guess we can just get right to it. Before we uh, ended the session last time, we drew, uh, we rolled initiative. <gasps> mm -hmm. So we are at this, we are just in the middle of combat. I've got my stat blocks right here, but. Um, should I change the combat music? Yes, please. Give me, like, a hot second. <clears throat> a hot one. A hot two. <laughs> <laughs> While you do that, if you don't mind, I would like to ask you, Xiomara. Yeah. Off and on session last time, or up until now, you've told me you were going to talk to your attacker. In oh, yeah. In to solve this without combat and <laughs> possibly bloodshed. Uh, can you just walk me through, without giving too much away, what your plan, what your game plan is here? Honestly, from the time to the last talk now, I have completely forgotten my game plan, to be honest. <laughs> because so much shit has just happened in my life that I have no idea what I was on about. I only know a really, really mean one-liner I wanted to pull, and that's all. <laughs> Very well. If that is what you're going to do, um, Flora will remind you for the next five uh, turns you're going to be paralyzed Unless you succeed your wisdom saving throw. Mm -hmm. Let me just look up what that is. Da, 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 da. Yep. Okay. Which so I think this... I failed last time at a 21. A 21? Did you fail? Interesting. Oh, I forget. Where did I put it? <laughs> I don't know if I typed it in chat. Hmm. I guess I felt I don't it. think I, you rolled a 21, but that was your initiative. Yeah, I don't think I typed it in chat. No. Um, I think I just. You would have succeeded it. with a 21, unfortunately, you did not save. So it must have been <laughs> below the DC. Okay. So, that being said. Um... I have no idea what the DC is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you. <laughs> um. First things first, uh, Goodman is actually going to take a few steps, which I believe is, uh, hang on, yeah, he's going to move uh, 20 of his movement to walk up to you, Flora, and what are your, what's your weapon situation looking like, Flora? Uh, right now, um, I don't think I have any of my weapons. Out. <laughs> Coming full party wipe. No, um, see about that, Maxi. Um, I think Let's I might it. have my long puzzle out. Um, where's where are your swords, or where's your sword and your dagger? Uh, my dagger would probably be on my thigh, and my Which short dagger because um, the obsidian hunter's knife you gave to me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. I still have my Frost King's dagger. So okay. Frost King's dagger. Yeah, short sword. Um, on my like hip, and if my bow, if I don't have my bow in my two hands, then it would be on my back hip. So you were paralyzed before you were able to draw your sword, um, or, or your bow. So um, Goodman is actually going to grab your short sword, which I believe is just a regular short sword, right? Yes. So gonna rude. <laughs> We're just going to take up his action, and he's going to um, take it in his offhand. And he then since sword. you're paralyzed, he's going to uh, go over to... Uh, hang on. What's his move? <laughs> the free uh, sword. <laughs> He's yeah. going to move over to your Yamada and uh, attack you offhand with that short sword. Uh, it's going to be a... Uh... Mean. Hang on. It's going to be a... Does a 13 hit you? 
<laughs> yeah. Wow. Wait. Wait a bit. Uh, wait. How do you have plus um, 12? Would, uh, would you like to use your reaction to cast shield? I would like to use my action. Uh, mm, I would like to cast mage armor because I do not have shield. Mage armor, mage armor unfortunately, is an action that you can only use on your turn. But um, I have the. Wait, do I have the feed already? I need to look at it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> if so, then wait. Where, fuck... wait, wait, is it? Where, is it? Where is it? Where is it? Are you looking for a Warcaster feed or something? Yes, I have the Warcaster feed. So could I use oh. my reaction because I can my reaction to to um, cast a spell? Um, is that what Warcaster says? Yeah, but you can use a reaction to make an opportunity attack or to, uh, to cast a spell that has a casting time of one action and targets only that creature. But well, no, because I would need to target myself, which isn't, hmm. No. So you want to use your um, reaction using Warcaster to cast Mage Armor on yourself? Yeah. You know what? Um, well... I'd say you can do that. Uh, yes, yeah. and here. I'd say normally it should not be able to because the other yeah, is because... not pulling an opportunity attack, but whatever. DM's discretion. Which is why I'm like asking. I mean, I don't mind yeah. if we if it doesn't work. You know what? Um, since this is kind of a sudden moment, um, I'm gonna make it up to Yamada. Does Ooh. Yamada have the presence of mind? And I would like you to give me a wisdom check. Oh, okay, wait. If you succeed, <laughs> it works. If it does not, and it's so not ready for um, this. Um, <laughs> wait, sorry. Uh, DD Beyond is kind of uh, screwing with me right now. Um, just a straight check. Straight wisdom check. All right. That's a nice. 20. One moment. Uh, this has to work, right? But you have That's only work, a plus right? one. Amazing. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not that wise. <laughs> <laughs> For, so it does gonna... succeed. Um, so you want to use your reaction to cast mage armor on yourself? Yeah, I would love to do that. Uh, how does that How does that increase your AC? It increases it by 3 to 16. With that, the attack. The first attack does not hit. Uh, that being said, um, what you see, basically, Flora, is um, this tall, um, intimidating creature dressed like a solicitor uh, steps up to you. It's almost intimate. It's almost like you're being uh, attacked by a falcon. That's how quick he just dives into you, uh, grabs your sword. You can't even do anything because you're paralyzed, and then immediately goes to slash at it with Xiomara. Xiomara um, starts glowing. Uh, gl glows shortly with a bright purple light, I imagine, uh, and the sword just kind of glances off of her. And you can see um, the hair um, on uh, Goodman's head is kind of messy, and he says, I can't escape the evil rule forever, I'm afraid. And he smiles at you. It looks like a very honest smile, but his actions betray his words. So that's gonna be his turn. Flora, please give me a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Um, do I add my proficiency to my wisdom? Yeah. Write that down. <laughs> oh, I think I succeed. Um, uh, did it. Uh, twenty-five. With a twenty-five, you succeed. Well, what do you know? You're no longer paralyzed. <laughs> Hey. Let's go! Freedom. However, um, that did take your action. Oh. You now have Cause... your movement and your bonus action. Okay. I am going to cast my favorite spell. <laughs> my favorite, favorite spell. I'm going to cast Zephyr Strike. <laughs> Zephyr Strike. Can you read to me what that does, please? Okay. I shall read it to you. Let me just get it to you. Moving does not perform, provoke opportunity attacks. Once um, you move like the wind, until the spell ends, your movement does not provoke opportunity attacks. Once before the spell's 
And you give yourself advantage on weapon attack roll your turn when that when that attack the attack deals an extra one d8 force damage on hit where you hit or miss your walking speed increase thirty feet until the end of that turn. Floor of the wise and floor of the movement. Take the... Uh, what does it look like when you cast that spell, Flora? Um. Well, okay. uh, it's just like. Do you just like point, at him and, point at him and glare? It's just like, well, it's cast on myself. It's a, it's on myself. So it's like a gust of wind, like kind of like surrounds myself and like, like I move like the wind. So like, kind of wind say, surrounds um, me. Let's say. Uh, Orbit of flavor, you see a little bit of you see little gusts around Flora for a moment. And in that gust you see a hint of orange autumn leaves. As she looks a little bit more windy now. Oh, uh, you can okay. see Goodman just kinda of look at you and uh glare. That, he, he glares <laughs> down at you, um behind his uh shaded spectacles, and he's going to use his first legendary action. He's going to attack you and He's going to um, uh, he's going to raise up uh, one of his palms, briefly uh, putting aside uh, his own short sword, and manifest a dagger made of pure darkness. And he's going to hurl it at you. So that's going to be a does a twenty six hit you? Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty uh, sure it does. <laughs> Let me know when it doesn't. Does. <laughs> yep, it does. I only have a 15. I have a 15. Ooh, we need to get those up. Um, <laughs> no way. That's gonna be... Two... 15... Hmm... 15 piercing damage to you. Okay. Oh, thank you, Coolster. Um, so, that's gonna be your turn. Um, anything you say to that? Ouchie, ouchie. <laughs> uh, fuck, you know what? I have to look. I have to talk all of that back. No. I'm so sorry. Um, he does not attack you, he just glares at you for a moment. Oh, and... so... Yes? He doesn't attack me? He doesn't! Oh, okay. That's gonna be it. You can give yourself back the 15 hit points, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Hey, There's something um... I forgot, I forgot about this character. Okay, um... Quick question. Yes? Is the door locked? Uh, no, it's not locked, it's just closed. Um... With me opening it, um, consider it, like, taking an action. No. Can I move out and, like, how far is the door? Um. Hang on, let me get the ruler for you. That's gonna be 15 feet. Can I get out of the door? <laughs> move out and, like, get out of the Door. You're just gonna leave me alone? <laughs> I'm going to... Give me a second. You certainly can, and since you cast Zephyr Strike, you do not provoke an attack of opportunity. Okay, I'm going to go out the door. Yep. Um, and I'm going to yell to Roberto for help. What are you yelling? Roberto, help! We're being attacked! Um... You... He looks at you lazily for a moment. He's just kind of been leaning against the wall with his arms crossed. And then he sees the dread on your face and he starts bolting. Speaking <laughs> of which, it's Roberto's and turn. I'm going to yes? move. <laughs> Roberto I'm better help. I'm going to stay Roberto's outside out. of the door for now. Roberto's like, best just over here. Dead. Like, um, did, um, did, um, did, um, did, um, did, so, um, um, where is the tool for it? Uh, 
if you want, you can just point on the screen by holding down your left mouse button to tell me where you want to be. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can... Oh, wait, actually, no. No, you're fine. I can put you here. Yeah, I just want to So, excellent <laughs> turn. <laughs> excellent turn, Flora. So, um, See, that means... it's, uh, it's, it's Sandy, I'm not leaving you. I want to get out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, you see, as you might see, uh, Goodman's face go a little uh, annoyed at a moment, and he's like, oh, "More corpses." <laughs> um, it's Roberto's turn. Roberto is a bit of a, a bit a bit of a jog away. Unfortunately, he's going to dash. <laughs> he's going to use his action to dash to. Um, Get inside. Get inside. Um, he's going to swivel at the door, move past you, Flora. Uh, look at the solicitor and say something like, "You know, I never trusted lawyers." <laughs> look how dashing Roberto is. Um, oh, please no. take two psychic damage, Stacey. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, that's a joke. That's a joke. Um, that being said. Uh, bonus actions. Uh, and he's going to move towards here and use his bonus action to shove um, to shove a Goodman, which is going to be, I believe, an athletics check. Yes. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. C. <laughs> oh no, he's busted. <laughs> oh no. Gonna be a 16 from Roberto and a uh, 29. What? From the Unfortunately, he's not shoved. Uh, you can see this big burly uh, guardman come in, uh, who you know to be the guardsman, uh, Roberto Tsumara. Uh He's going to look at the um, solicitor, do a one liner, and attempt to shove him. Despite being just kind of tall and scrawny, you can see he does not move. Just kind of cackled at, at Roberto, being like, <laughs> "You know, I always believe that all guards are bastards." <laughs> <laughs> wow, we really are gupped. Base. <laughs> um, not so bad. Speaking of base, uh, Sumara, it is your turn. Uh, I will. I will just try something that's definitely not going to work. Um. Okay, so I look at him, and I'm, I'm really pissed off, but I also do not want to fight in my own dorm room because I don't want my books to get damaged. But I just look at him, and I go, if you wanted to be my pet, you could have just asked me, and then I cast whole person. <laughs> so, uh, please make a wisdom save. I forgot you were a sorcerer of a dummy mommy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, save. It's a wisdom save, right? Yeah. No problem. There's an 18 succeed. Ah, oh, come on. Why is it plus 12 on everything? What the hell? Look, I knew That's it wouldn't work. That was funny. I wanted to put Uno reverse. Um, <laughs> yeah? Hmm. I think, like, I, I think if I move away, he will get, like, an attack. So I, I, but no matter what I do, he will get an attack. This is why Zephyr Strike. Mm. First spell. <laughs> so, um, you still have your bonus action and your movement. Um, yeah, let me check what I can do as a bonus action real quick. Uh, bonus actions. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay, so, if that is your turn. No, I am. Yeah, yes. I will just stay put. I am. I'm clueless in this situation. And then I don't want my. I, I want to see what happens to my books if something happens. Okay, um. So. Let me just look, check again. That being done, um. I think now Goodman is actually going to use a legendary action. And he's going to look at you for a moment, unimpress your mind, and says, Oh. So unfortunate, but. You never learn to be good at one-liners. 
And he's going to um, completely move past you and do a melee attack at Roberto. He's going to do this with his main hand, which is going to be a... Cool! Hey, Ante, you thought that plus 12 was ridiculous, right? Yep. <laughs> what? It's going to do a critical hit on Roberto. What are these stats blocks even? Uh, I told you last time how he was a um, challenge rating 16 monster. You're not supposed to fight him yet. Um, yeah, why are we... Yeah. Well, yeah, we, this I'm... is my idea too. You're I want to say, why, why are we fighting, but I'm not there. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm succeeding. <laughs> me too, so, um, me too. Just 2d6. 7 doubled as 14, and the bonus to that is um, 12. It's going to do the 28 damage, uh, slashing damage against Roberto. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I hope it was a good to... idea to call Roberto here. <laughs> Hang on, uh, calculator. Give me a calculator. One moment. This is gonna this is gonna get stop being boring in a minute. <laughs> wow. Non boring. So so rude to herself. Numbers are not boring to me. I'm bringing down to sixty-eight. Ghost is a mad lesbian. It's not fair. Yes. <laughs> Mad lesbian. <laughs> um, much like Maxi in chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that being said, let me just check the main uh, the main hand. I feel like it's fair that the secondary um, effect of a weapon doesn't trigger if it's just a legendary action. So that being said, we cut away for a moment. <laughs> We interrupt the combat for. <laughs> Should I turn off the combat music? Uh, yeah, sure. Just for a moment. A wee bit. Let me just set the scene. We're back in the tavern. Uh, you can see that um, we're back joining. We're a bit here with uh, Cesare and Stacy. Uh, Stacy, you are currently chowing down on some uh, porridge. Yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> because she likes you and sis also gave you like a a cup of um a cup of uh honey water oh, <laughs> feeling huh? that you would like it how long ago so, at this point was our whole naked ceremony thingy eight hours was, at most eight hours at most uh, okay. this was this was six hours ago okay yeah. <laughs> just checking so, <laughs> So, so, um, get the co get the horrible uh, slaughtering of your fellow party members of your mind. Uh, you are here. You're having a good time. Uh, Cesare, I will remind you. Last time you got a letter from somebody. Yes, I did. And Stacy, you're just kind of hanging out. Yes, um, I am. Not so much. Unlike, despite being here on the uh, on the map, is nowhere to be seen. And you can see, um, the room is just kind of full with uh, the morning, uh, uh, the morning crowd, just kind of. Drinking, talking to them, to each other, to themselves. One dwarf here in the corner just fully passed out, for example. <laughs> and it's, it's just a nice, pleasant morning. You have two more days until uh, to prepare yourself for your voyage to the west. So, I'm just going to start with Sidney. What are we doing? Uh, remind me, did I open the letter already? No, you just know that you have it. Uh, it's in front of you now, since uh, Matthias, mm -hmm. uh, no, Inksissa just kind of gave it to you. Uh... You can so, see it's written in a very scrawling, messy hand. I think at that point, then I would be uh, eating breakfast crickets or whatever I eat at breakfast at this time. You always insist on just eating a single loaf of flatbread. And no crickets. And because sister is worried about you, uh, she actually started <laughs> She actually started sneaking, sneaking in a little cheese. Oof, thank God. Uh, I think I'm mostly, while eating, gonna be staring at the scroll. Quite afraid to open it up, actually. Why's that? But I don't know why that is. I feel like it could be bad news. Bad news. Very good. Uh, Stacy, besides chowing down on the pores, what are you doing? I reach to to my backpack and 
let my my little hamster go down and i i offered a little hamster some of my my honey drink of course Oh. Uh, Peligro uh, very graciously accepted. Yeah. Um, but also while reaching for my backpack, I um, touch the gem of mending and I pull it out and I put it in front of me and I think about it and I ask in Inxissa to whom I might be going if I want to let this gem be made into, I don't know, uh, oh, what is it called? Halskette in German. Um, a choker or a necklace? Hmm. I guess Stacy would be more a necklace guard <laughs> than a choker guard. Oh, disappointed. Very good. Um, this is a uh, puts away a cup uh, and some uh, and um, and her uh, her rag and she goes. Hmm. Now, there's maybe surprises here, but I'm not actually that big into jewelry. However, I have heard that um, some of the boys from the Sanctum recently raided a jeweler in <laughs> in Las Arcadas. I heard in order to go out of business, he's reduced all of his jewels by 50%. Yeah, I'm going to ride down the street for you. And she hands you a little, um, a little, hanker, a little uh, napkin with uh, uh, the, the address written on it. I, I give the napkin to Pelicro and Pelicro delivers the napkin to my backpack. No, Very good. Um, he comes back soon enough to finish his drink. You don't get a single sip in anymore. <laughs> uh, Susetti, you discover a letter from um, Goran. It says, Hey, shithead. I found your guy, but it's not good. Meet me, find me as soon as you can. Goran. It seems your dread was somewhat justified. <laughs> Feared as um, much. Below that, as well, you find a little address, and you actually see that it's in, in Piernito, the Oof. outskirts of, this, of the city. Hmm. Stacy? Yes, Seti? Would you mind if we took a little excursion today? Oh, you want to show me around? Sure. <laughs> mm, I can do that first if we grab everyone. But I want to go to... Well, I have to do this first, I think. If you yeah, mind. don't worry. We can do that at first. I'm in no rush. I think we, we still have like two days left, right? So it's okay. probably fine. I promised um, it as... after. Uh, sorry, yeah, go. No. I, I promise that after I'll show you a bit more of the, the, the fun parts of town. We're fun you ma in eating things, right? Exactly. Perfect. That is adorable. Um, Inxis has gone down to the both of you and says, uh, So you're going? Uh, yes, but first we should pick up our compadres. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, uh, she pulls you in close, um, gives a little kiss on the cheek, and grabs your head for a moment and looks you intently in the eyes and says, And write to me before you come back this time, right? Don't dance naked with random women, right? She blushes <laughs> and is completely paralyzed, as I assume you two leave the tavern. Yep. Unless Stacy still wants to eat something first. Uh, Stacey, so you've finished by now, I think. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm finished with the orange. So that being said, um, I'm just going to pull us back to the to the original map. You um, knew at that point that they were going to sleep at the university, right? You you have some idea that they might be there. Otherwise, you know that tracking them down might, wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, yeah. However, before you even get the idea, Stacey, you feel now a familiar feeling in your mouth as a chill that builds up inside of your lungs and a, and a breath of cold air comes out of your mouth. You are now in the streets of, um, of Snake's Nest, um, surrounded by tunnels and uh, little channels, and everything is completely silent, which is unusual. It's also a little darker, which is not unusual. However, at the end of the, of the tunnel you are in, 
You see a cloaked figure. And it's looking back at you. And uh, hang on, let me just post a picture. Oh, yeah. Um, let me just post a picture as soon as I can find it. <laughs> uh, old. And you see this person. They're very tall and gangly. Kind of unsettling. And they're wearing a bird mask. A very distinct bird skull mask. Something Man, I wish as easy would be with me. I would have been... I had such a good question, but okay. And... <laughs> You you don't you you don't really think to say anything in this moment as as sheer dread as memories you can't quite place that you know aren't your own flood back in your in your head. That this person um seems to beckon to you and then disappear down a corridor. And before you can do the next thing, uh, you also see Nock Tom, the cat, the little black and white cat, run after the figure at full speed. You've never seen her run so fast. What will you two do? I, I grab Seti's hand and ask, have you seen this too? Mm. Uh, Seti, you saw the same thing. You saw the okay. person um, looking at you and the uh, and the cat running after them. I think we should investigate. Are you still following? I mean... I'm asking you the players. <laughs> that would be my idea, unless Stacy disagrees. Well, um, I say this as Stacy to Seti. I don't know if we should follow. I, I have a strange feeling in my guts. I, I can't quite place it, but I, I kind of trust you when you say we should follow. You, you may lead. I've seen and heard that I've seen you destroy like an entire combat arena with your ice magic so at this point if you think it's unwise i believe you cool yeah uh, so you two are I... following them no if i understand that i think we're not following them yeah i think we we stay with our original plan interesting we, sh we should report it to the others but so uh, not um... to report even so what's your plan then If I understand yep. correctly, you want to go to Impernita to, um... No. Uh, uh, I want to find Flora and Azizi. No, Siomara, sorry. So, um, you know that Azizi lives somewhere around here, you've seen them before. Um, why are you going to see Azizi? Ah, uh, because I misspoke and I meant Siomara. <laughs> right, um... <laughs> so, um... Try to remember exactly where they went. You seem to remember something about them going back to uh, Sumara's place to talk about something. Mm -hmm. uh, they were trying to keep that conversation private, so you didn't remember all of it. Um, so you make your way up to the uh, up outside of uh, out, out of the Undercity. But that's hard to say. So you are now in the hearth. It's like the middle part of the city. Now, traveling to the uh, to the university is going to take you thirty minutes. That being said, uh, the, the, the address for the jeweler was in the snakes. That's not in the heart, right? Uh, the jeweler was in Las Arcadas. Las Arcadas, okay. So let me just pick up Stacy here. There you go. Yeah, but as I said, we we have time yeah. for for that later. So or, yeah. So getting up to our, to uh, to the university is going to take you half an hour. Getting up to Las Arcadas is going to take you an hour to like the specific address. I'm um, going to Infernito is going to take you two hours. That being said, um, the chill in your in your lungs is, gets worse and worse, Stacy. As you get as you get a strong feeling of regret. Oh, that no. being said, we return <laughs> round two. Fight! Shall I turn back <laughs> on the combat music? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so, um... I'm just gonna give these two a turn. Please, can I add a two? Uh, thanks, Roll20! 
<laughs> if they're too far up in the screen, I can't add a turn. That's so fun. <laughs> Hang on. <clears throat> I was going to say that, okay. I just want to add a turn. Perfect. Yeah, they're right on my bed, as they should be. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that... Very good, very Is good. Is that my buddy? Uh, oh, you don't see you... them yet. Hang on. Oh, uh, let okay. me just pull up the... Um, the stuff blocks here. Let me see what to what kind of initiative to roll for them. Uh, Flora, Yamara, you actually feel a strange craft in your uh, in your dormitory. And well, I'm not in the dormitory. I'm in the hall. <laughs> Thank you for always correcting me. That's I really appreciate it. <laughs> so that's gonna be plus four for the cat. I can't believe the cat has more initiative than I do. <laughs> it's gonna be 19. And the Seneschal has... Plus 6. <laughs> oh no, that's ass. Oof. Or... Oh no. Oh, you'll see. You feel a draft in your dormitory, Siomara, and the 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 the, uh, the strong sense, uh, the strong smell of um, a spell going off in your room. So you can't quite place this. And somewhere you also get the feeling that it just got a little bit darker. Uh, so you, uh, Flora, you hear you hear a very light. That <laughs> uh, being said, it's going to be Goodman's turn, who uh, wrinkles his nose for a moment and says. Wait, that can't be right. Uh, then um, finds his um, composure again and uses his first uses his action to. Um, he's going to do another attack on Roberto with his main arm. That's going to be a. Ba -ba -ba -ba. A moment. It's going to be a 27, which hits. Uh, thank you. And a 15 slashing damage. Additionally, my man's gonna have to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> It's gonna be fun. It's just gonna be this most mostly uh, this session. <laughs> so um, so is um, what the is tried plus zero. He fails the wisdom check, which means so. Uh, I'm pulling up the wrong, uh... <laughs> I'll take the damage again at the start of his next turn. Great. <laughs> He's going to use his bonus action to do an offhand attack with your short sword, Danny. Good. Which is a 20, which I believe hits. Yep, just so. I was plus 17 with my short sword. That's a good sword shot. Well, he's been, he's, his job is, his whole deal is kind of doing this, so. <laughs> he's just special, we just have to accept this. <laughs> Doing another 10 slashing damage, which I believe takes us up to 25. So that's gonna be, um, 43, down to 43. And uh, you can see uh, Roberto taking all of the hits for you, Somara, knowing that at some Thank point you. he's going to come down to you. He's going to come back to you. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't seem even to uh, bother him that much. He just kind of swings around his swords, deftly dances around Roberto's great uh, curved sword, and just, keep put just keeps uh, biting into his armor with his sword like it's nothing. Uh, that's going to be his turn. Flora. So, I'm going to do something 
that's probably not gonna work. Um, yeah. um, I'm going to open the door and shoot him with my longbow. I am going to try to disarm one of, um, um, good men of one of his short swords. So you're going to try to go for one of his hands? Yeah. I'm going to um, try to disarm him. And I have advantage. I have advantage. Why do you think you have advantage? Like, run me through that. Um, because I have Zephyr Strike still. Zephyr Strike <laughs> is only advantage on attacks, right? Weapon attacks. Um, and okay, since... so you want to use your weapon attack to disarm him. Yes. Got it. Um. Okay, how do we do this? It's a... Okay, so I'm... um, first of all, give me the attack. Just give me the attack. And if you hit, you will not do damage. Instead, you will give me a uh, dexterity check to see if you disarm him. A contested dexterity check. I think that's Hi, Ice. Ice. <laughs> the arrow Let the Roberto. arrow hit Roberto instead. Oh, come on. Come on, Maxi. <laughs> Roberto's trying, okay. <laughs> He's not Roberto. trying his best. Um, just to be safe, can you put it in chat? When, once you've rolled Which it. chat? Um, Our chat. God, why did it do? Why is my calculator like this? Seventeen plus seven. So. Oh. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the higher one. Yeah. Uh, let me just see. Ooh. Oh, wait a moment. <laughs> that hits! Please give me the dexterity check, and I'm just going to do a dexterity check for um, Goodman as well. Aww. And I put my proficiency, right? It's just a check, not a save. Okay. So you do so not put just... your proficiency. That's a straight up uh, dexterity save, dexterity check. Probably not gonna work because he has like something like. You can work. Um... <laughs> how how much dexterity do you need to have to get a plus seven bonus? I don't. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> 24. The answer is 24 at least. At least. Uh, <laughs> uh, um. Do, do, do. Uh, uh, what did I get? I'm going to use one of my inspiration points for this. Because I think I can do this. I'm going to use an inspiration point. Yes. Mm. Yes, give it to me. I believe in you. Do it. Yeah. Nineteen plus four. Outstanding. You rolled a twenty-three, which yeah. just what? It. Yeah. At least she was um, right. She's able to do it. Which which sword are you disarming? Um, I want his cool, cool sword. I want his cool sword. You want to remove Vanna from the hand of, of her wielder. Um, you can see this beautiful, um, sword made from a black, um, metal-like material. And a, it's a kind of obsidian. Uh, right. It's the most beautiful sword you've ever seen. And he drops it. It flops out of his hand. He goes, Gah! Um, um, and calls up in, in pain, and his sword drops to the floor and um, gets stuck in the floorboards, which uh, I'm assuming, Siomaro, you're going to have to pay out of your own pocket to fix later. Um, 
Can I use it goes my... in deep too. It's very sharp. Yes. Can I use my bonus action to pick it up and then run back? Um, I do not see how that would use your bonus action. You can just move your, just use your movement. Oh, can I pick it up then? Can I just um, steal his sword that he dropped? One moment. Um. Uh, absolutely, yeah. I should reward your ingenuity. Um, that is going to be... <sighs> One moment. 15 feet there, and 15 feet back. So that's... Yeah. If you have how much movement? 45 feet? Uh, yes, because I got the bonus from the Zephyr Strike. Okay, please add to your inventory. One moment. Which is great, I need to roll less now. Um, <laughs> so. So, you are not supposed to have this. Let me just say, this is not balanced for a level 4 character. You gain Vena. Legendary sword sword. Tune required. Reach 5 feet, finesse, plus 5 to, plus, plus five to <laughs> hit. So On hit, 2, 2d6 plus 5 slashing or piercing. Targets of attacks from this sword must receive a DC wisdom, sa uh, wisdom save or take the attack's damage again at the start of their turn. It is a slender curved short sword cur carved from some sort of black glass. According to legend, it is named after a monster dwarf that threatened to devour the world. The glass cannot be broken by anything short of cosmic force. Small cracks pertain centuries of use. So you've got this cool ass short sword on you now. You, you He stole a sword from you and you got a sword from him. Okay. Well done. I'm um, so glad. You still have a bonus action. Uh, did, did, did. Um, I don't think. Did, did, did. Give me did, one did. second to scroll back up because I was just copying and pasting that. Um. Did, did. Uh, I don't think I really have anything else I want to do. That on my turn. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm quite content with that. I think I'm going to close the door and like move back to my little hidey spot. <laughs> See, Goodman, um, his hair's even more disheveled. He's furious now. Uh, you can see um, his 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 eyeglasses have kind of shifted down his nose, and you can see the pure venter black of his eyes just staring you down there's nothing there but hatred um so i think you see him for the first time with those glasses uh his mm -hmm. eyes surprisingly are even more black than his glasses and roberto just kind of is taken aback when one says what the fuck is this guy <laughs> and he's going to use another legendary action to do another slash at um roberto out of frustration um this time again with this off sword, which is going to be da, 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 da. Do, 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 with this other sword, which looks equally beautiful, but it seems to be made of the same material. Uh, yeah, he, you know, he stole my short sword, even though he had a, a short sword already. Oh yeah. So yeah, he takes out his other sword and puts it in his main hand. He came with two swords and you took one away from him after you took one from you. So, cool. Not cool. It's gonna be a 25, which will hit. And a... <laughs> it's okay, uh, surprises in the surprises of swords. <laughs> it's gonna be 2d6 plus 5. gonna be 11 slashing damage bring roberto down even more roberto's the true mvp in this fight for taking see all um, of he it. came in uh, full of vigor uh, as you might expect from a guard a guardsman in his prime he looks severely beat up now he's bleeding all over your um all over your floor which not of the upholstery you're, you're also gonna have to pay for like i will not get back my deposit for my throne room. The, <laughs> absolutely not. At, at, at this point, you're, you're, the deposit is the least of your worries. 
He can also see. Not um, close that... to you and me. <laughs> I'll be attacking this sword, however. Um, it. Um, he suddenly starts crackling with lightning, and you can see um, the black of his eyes kind of being filled up with lightning, with like small miniature lightnings or and, and little black clouds. And he looks even more unnatural now than he did before. So it's gonna be Roberto's turn now. Uh, Roberto since he felt his wisdom save, is going to take um, the, uh, the damage he took from the first attack again as psychic damage. There's going to be another 15 hit points. Less. Uh, let me do some quick maths. Yep. He goes, ah! You can see there's a ghostly sword slashing him again, and it looks kind of like a red spectral sword. You can see Flora, the the new, the new sword you just nabbed um, also briefly glow red. Anyway, Roberto is going to um, get it's his, light his bearings. He's barely even gotten to do an attack yet, and he's also like, he's already been like attacked badly. Um, and he's going to. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, that sounds fun. He's going to. Uh, Heave at him with his great, with his great um, curved sword. It's going to be a plus seven, which will not hit. <laughs> you can see Roberto getting kind of frustrated as uh, Goodman keeps dancing around his blade. <laughs> so, we're going to skip not Tom's turn for now, as she only just joined. Tomorrow it is your turn. I see the the massive damage to my like floors. I see all of the blood. I still will not cast an offensive spell because that might burn down the strong room, <laughs> which I obviously do not want. I, I don't want to have to pay for everything. So I will try something once again that will definitely not work because I just remember that I have a dagger on my person and I will just try to stab good men with it. You're not going <laughs> to do a Danny. Mm, no, <laughs> I will the, try the funny thing. Actually, <laughs> the only re the only manner that the offensive magic is gonna be used is if it turns out Goodman is the landlord. Yeah, then yeah. it's gonna be a lot of offensive spells. Please, um, go ahead, roll your attack. Ooh. Unfortunately, that very high roll will not hit. What? what? Yeah, I thought so much. I thought so much. But I will say, I do not even know. Why we are fighting? Yeah. You just showed up. I. What do you even want? He's going to smile at you, a very charming smile. Or oh, it would be charming under any, any, any other circumstances. Gonna say. I'm sorry, darling. I'm afraid you've just become collateral. Some people just can't stay in their fucking lane. And he's gonna look over at Flora. He's happy. Well, that's why how we are is not he Damn it, Flora! I closed the door. <laughs> You left again! <laughs> I even, uh, I, I, I even um, put in the stream title, don't murder anyone today, Flora, please, I beg you. Come on, <laughs> girl. Uh, well, uh, is that all you do? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna skip Mistle's turn and come, come back to the, uh, to the end of the round. Uh, can you turn on chill music again, please? <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. We can get uh, the second. Just give chance. me a second. Mm -hmm. to switch it. We are debenched. Yay. Now I'm going to say, um, Seri, uh, mm -hmm. Stacy, you're actually somewhat in the past because, as you know, um, Tamara and Flora spent a bunch of hours in the morning preparing themselves because it, before they came to meet. So I'm going to say, you have one hour until Flora and Tamara, uh, meet up or yeah basically and how long would it right now take us to be at la universidad real uh, to go to the real universe <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> real um that's half an hour half an hour no yeah. the only thing we know at the moment is that you're having internal feelings of regret from the ice within. yeah yeah but i i ask this because maybe i have plans you know i'm Ooh. a druid after all shenanigans 
Because that was what I was wondering. Very, I have a very evil plan now that you're in, back on the hearth. Uh, wow. Okay, then please so, unfold um, your evil plan. Basically, it just it just depends on what you're gonna do now. So, what are you gonna do, party? Uh, I, I was wondering, how visible is it uh, on Stacy's face with the things she's feeling right now? Um, is it just something strange. internal? She looks, she looks kind of tired. She looks very determined. Um, you can also very visibly see the cold clouds coming out of her mouth. Stacy. Small I... pops of icy breath. Are you ill? Seti? Uh -huh. uh, no, this normally is a sign that that I'm in fear. But somehow this does not feel like fear. It's more like, I don't know, a feeling of missing out. Huh. So, I think we should have followed those figures and, and not Tom. We can... But I can, can try you track, to track them? them. How good are you in tracking? If you are, for mm. example, on a horse. <laughs> Odd example, but I know the streets here well, so I would say I know my way around. Would I it be would... helpful if we can move around faster? That might be helpful, yes. What do you think would be the most suitable animal uh, to prowl around here? I'm not very smart, by the way. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, Seri, um, you would know the local flora, uh, flora Lo fauna includes... Um, there's not a lot of horses, but there's dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to say like... Once. <laughs> I wanted to suggest a Komodo dragon. Komodo dragon, yes. Um, you've also seen a. You also know what a wolf is. Oh, okay. Dire wolf could probably carry you. Uh, uh, that being said, you are in a, uh, in a city that's full of airships and like air gondolas. But it stands to reason that if you actually um, knew where to go, you could actually uh, be faster than an air gondola if you were, for example, on a uh, dire wolf back. If that's we, a thought. If we need to go to the streets, a wolf would do. But if we would have to climb, I would suggest a Komodo dragon. What challenge rating has a Komodo dragon? <laughs> Good question. Komodo dragon. Hmm. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, I'm not sure if that's a thing in D&D. I, I wouldn't prefer one either. Would it be then like a giant lizard? or? I think it would be. Or, like a croc or would it be like a crocodile? Like, hmm. I would say like a crocodile, but I am an idiot. <laughs> so, um, explain to me what you want to do, Stacey. I want to wild shape into the suggested animal so we can move <laughs> faster. I would say because we were, then in that case, if we it's were for losing speed, valuable time. If speed you is effective. You don't know that to be move. fair, but um, a crocodile has a challenge rating of one half. I know, I have this list pulled up, so... You can say it's a Komodo dragon, but uh, mechanically it's more like a crocodile. Oh, but then movement speed is only 20. No, go so for speed, take really the wolf. Faster. Take the wolf if we need speed. Um, I will give you... Um, you have a... You have a walking speed of... 30? Yes. And you have a climbing speed of 30. Mm -hmm. I mean... I'm just going to say that because of your ingenuity, um, and because Sadie knows the city so well, um, you could make it to the university um, within, say, 20 minutes if you go by a Komodo dragon. But if we try to... Yeah, we're trying to chase the... Oh, oh that's even better because... Um, yeah, sure. Uh, then you might get there by uh, 30 minutes. Otherwise, going back to the other city will take you 30 minutes. Uh, it will take you like an hour. But now you're saving a, a half an hour or so. Yeah, I really want to do it. I want that we enter on a Komodo. I said you entering the room riding a Komodo dragon. 
It was so funny. <laughs> So, uh, you spend half an hour going back to the Undercity and following sh sharp in the heels of Not Tom and the Stranger. Did I get that right? No, we would no. transform no. right now. Also, I would wild shape right now. Yeah. Then Seti jumps on my back and then yeah. uh, he mean, tracks. My, my, my normal movement speed is 50 feet. I might still be faster if I just run next to you. Okay, then that. Okay, so. So the plan is that you transform into a beast and then together you go tracking after them. Yes. To see where they went. To chase after them. Where's my wild shape? I need to track that I, I'm wild shaped. Alright. So. That's what you want to do. C could you confirm with me that that's what you want to do right now? see yes you go back into the undercity um you quickly find the track it's not even that hard no need to roll anything however um at some point you find uh their uh their scent go a very sharp turn into an abandoned tunnel this is a tunnel i don't know um it is a tunnel you do know unfortunately oh, the don't... things inside of it are unknown to you uh -huh. As, hang on, uh, oh god, thanks turn order, I'm gonna take a, as there are two diminutive creatures looking at you, uh, with large red glowing eyes, or at least they look red glowing as you come in, uh, bring a bit of, bring in a bit of a light, I'm assuming that one of yours has a torch out, uh, and you see two were rats looking at you, and one of them starts scream, starts, starts screaming, the Rat Lord returns! We shall take over the city! Attack! And I'm gonna need both of you to roll initiative, please. <laughs> Not a Rat Lord. Love it. Oh no! I might no! dragon! <laughs> because. Uh. Um, you can use a bonus action now, but on your turn, you're not gonna have a bonus. Oh. Does it cost you an extra or a bonus action to Wild Shape? Um, it's a, a action. Oh. Nee, as an action, you can magically assume the shape of a beast that you have uh, seen before twice per short rest. Um, cool. Yeah, only um circle, only circle of the moon people uh, get yeah. a bonus action. Circle of moon, moon. Correct. So you're now on the turn order. I'm just going to add the two were rats too. Uh, uh, of course, they're once again too far up for me to add them to the turn order. Uh -huh. Yeah. That will teach their lateral let lord, rat lord. You're going to be the shit out of these were rats. Is that what you're going to do? If they're in my um, way, I am. <laughs> very good. Um. So let me just see the text. That's gonna be a plus two. Six and five. Brilliant. So, um. Sending, please. Thank you. But before we get to combat, <laughs> <laughs> we swap back. We return! <laughs> Danny, aren't you really grateful? Now you don't have to switch back and forth with comment music anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's Goodman's turn. Isn't that good? <laughs> oh no, it's not. <laughs> um. And he's going to look at Robert and say, "I'm very sorry about this, Captain. Not two days you've been promoted already. You're a cop in a ditch." And he's going to um. Make two weapon attacks this time with his um with the second short sword, which is going to be ba -ba -ba -ba. A twenty three and a twenty four. They're both gonna hit. And they're both gonna do up, up. Uh, 
that. Two to six plus five. Fifteen and seventeen, which I think adds up to thirty-two. Roberto, um, so uh, sorry to do this to all of you. <laughs> um, are you? Roberto are you? Try to avoid the attack, but they both come in um, mercilessly. And not our boy. One of the attacks no. actually comes in so hard that he takes off a good chunk of Roberto's shoulder. Crazy and Tindle ninety six oh. just subscribed. Enter. Not the and arm again. Welcome in. You can Tindle. see now, and he his last words are, "Not the arm again." <laughs> <laughs> no. As he drops, he, he falls stays, limply buddy. to the floor. Um. Tindle just in time to see Roberto die. And. Goodman looks at you, Florence, and mouths, you did this. Uh, How is he going looking to do... at me? Um, <laughs> and he's going because to Because make... the door is closed. You close it again. Yeah, I did. In that case, he yells it. <laughs> uh, I do believe I've made a mistake. He should not be rolling plus 17 with just the sword sword. I think it's just yeah. a plus 12 in this case. Yeah. He's going to use his um, bonus action to make an offhand attack against you, uh, Siomara. <laughs> Yay! He's <laughs> going to be... Which is going to be 12 slashing damage. Oh, wait. Um, yeah. Wait. Damage. Okay. <laughs> But what, I what, been what, what's, it, oh. what's it looking like, Siomara? Tell us. Uh, I mean, I'm still, I'm still pretty good. Um, and I think I was kind of expecting this um, when I saw our great MVP Roberto just go down. But I'm yep. definitely not enjoying it. <laughs> that being said, um, do you say anything to that? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, he chuckled. He, he laughs at your face. Um, Flora, it's your master turn. Words, um, it, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Um, did I notice of any windows while I was in um, Xorma's dorm? Oh, there's like... um. You can see on this side, I've marked them like with a bump every time. Uh, there's like a window here, and it's like uh, looking into a courtyard. Uh, basically, in like a big um, ring-shaped building. It's like it's like a square frame, and you're looking into the into a beautiful uh, courtyard. It's still a beautiful like um, mid-autumn day outside, but uh, <laughs> on the inside, oof. So there's a window, yeah. Um. um... If I carried somebody while um, I had Zephyr Strike, um, would they would they not be provoked by opportunity attacks as well? Uh, sure. However, mm -hmm. um, you cannot carry anything. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let... What's your strength modifier first of all? Uh... Oh, da, da, da. My shag modifier is a negative <laughs> one. <laughs> it's a one. Um, unfortunately, um, I could, I cannot, in good conscience, allow you to carry anything big, uh, greater than a uh, size category small. Okay. So there goes my plan of carrying Ziamara out the window. Get that bitch. Out the window. Um. Ah. Uh, I think. I think I'm just going to jump out the window. <laughs> or, yeah. I'm just going to jump out the window. Uh, hang on. Mm hmm. You said there was a 
Yeah, no, go ahead. Right uh, jump out the window. Yeah. And you are out of combat. For now. Um. <laughs> and. Wow. Poor Sandy. Thank you. <laughs> That's going to be your turn. Um. Um, so Mario can see uh, Goodman sigh deeply. Oh, there's gotta be more corpses. You don't need me to do anything like an acrobatic check to like climb out like the wall or anything. Uh, climb the wall. I was gonna do that until after. I was gonna do that uh, under uh, after combat or like at a certain point. But sure, um, give me an acrobatic check to see if you can join. If you can. Uh, land safely this um uh, dormitory is on the second floor so you are yeah. jumping a bit of a distance um and if i fail i always have a backup plan sure. uh, so give me the acrobatic check please yeah. Did I... Did I... It's a 21. You make it without taking any damage. Okay. So, at that oh, point, I'm going, to to, uh, cut you... <laughs> I'm going to have to cut you off now. That's going to be your turn. Okay. Now, that being said, if you... once you... Now you said backup plan. I feel like I should... Uh, up... I forgot to upload a certain asset. I feel like that person <laughs> might involve your backup plan. <laughs> so... Oh, that... your backup plan might involve the... this asset. Let me upload that. Okay, so that brings us up to Roberto. That brings us up to not Tom. Uh, Siomara, you see the strangest thing. Um, you look behind Goodman and a cat steps out of your bedroom. You've seen this cat before. It was in the princess chambers. It's this beautiful, small, black and white cat with pitch black eyes. And it looks back, at, it looks up at Goodman and it says, uh, Goodman turns around, first confused, then he sees the cat, and the strangest thing happens. His shoulders go slack for a moment, his smile turns into sheer dread. And he says, and he just says kind of on his breath, this should be impossible. The cat's gonna look at you, Shumara, and say, uh, and you hear a voice in your head saying, I'm so, I'm so sorry I had to come to this. I'm... <laughs> I'm going to need a bit of your magic. Will you lend it to me? At this point, you can't save me. I will, yes. <laughs> I just saw my teammate fucking abandon me. Right? No, you didn't. I had the you door didn't closed. See it. You didn't see it. The door was closed. I, but I you could hear the, feel you it hear the in my open. heart. <laughs> you did hear the window open and somebody going... <laughs> the betrayal is real. So, um... I, I thought we were having a genuine connection. <laughs> so, I did um, get help. <laughs> we, we will see about that. Uh, okay, um, so... The way this works, uh, Siomara, is... Um, your highest level spell should be a level 2 spell, right? Yes. How many level 2 spell slots do you have left? Uh, two. Please mark off one spell slot. Ooh. I all right, yes. Has not Tom used a spell siphon? So that's going to be one charge. And since you gave it um voluntarily, you don't have to um do any kind of save. So bonus action. Um So, uh, the way I wrote the stat block, I missed a certain thing. Um, anyway, you can see the cat suddenly spark with, electri with electrical energy. Much like Goodman did before. And she actually starts floating off the ground. And you have this little floating cat in your room who looks at Goodman and fucking zaps him. It's like a bright lightning. And he staggers a little bit and you can see now um, he's kind of smoked a little bit and there's lightning running all over him. And he says, you can't do this to me, not now. And that's going to be the cat's turn. It's Yamara, it's your turn. Um, 
there's a dead person in my room. I suspect I will not get my deposit back anyhow. <laughs> so um, I will oh. just cast Acid Arrow on Goodman and do my best. I will remind you, Acid Acto uh, Arrow, uh, is that is that's not a spell attack, is it? Um, it is, um, I mean, it is, yeah. Unfortunately, you will have to make that attack at a disadvantage since you are in melee range for Goodman. Ah, shit. <laughs> Wait, okay, okay, <laughs> I need to think, because I would not cast Fireball. That's, uh, a Fireball, that's, that's also not good. Okay, there's, uh, uh, there's a corpse in your room, and everything's kind of there's bloody. There's a corpse in my room. So what does it matter? <laughs> Yeah, on the, uh, but but it's disadvantage. <laughs> hmm. And I, I I don't know about my books to burn. That's that's the point. Um. Okay. Can I instead before I do that just book it out of my room? Uh, you want to use a disengage uh, action and and leave. And not disengage, just run, because I still want to hit him with acid arrow after that. Yep. Please. Um. Where would you want to move? Please show it to me on the map. Uh, let me let me pull up the. Uh, how do I show you again? Here, um, just very good. Um, that's going to be. Thank you. Uh -huh. That's going to be fifteen feet. No problem. Um, Goodman is going to make a main hand attack against you as a as an attack of opportunity. Of course. Um, I'm assuming that hits. Yeah. <laughs> I just noticed his bonus is higher than your AC. Every attack has gone to <laughs> one. Um okay. I even um, ask. Is it on the last just give me the damage? He could, he could still fumble it. I I you know the chances are not in my favor. <laughs> it's gonna be ten slashing damage. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Uh, that being said, please roll your attack. First, before you do that, though, uh, I'm going to yeah. roll a d10. Okay, go ahead, please. Yeah, that's not going to hit. <laughs> Let me check first. <laughs> you get the strong feeling that after whatever the kid, just, the cat just did to him, hitting him now is going to be a lot easier. Unfortunately, the acid arrow will not hit him. He, um, okay. still dazed from the lightning arrow, his reflexes are still unnaturally fast and he, and he nimbly dodges out of the way. Um, the wall behind him gets acidified. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not my books, honestly, like, I, I will take this. <laughs> it's already looking bad. <laughs> okay, that being said, um, is there anything you want to do or say? Um... Is he still wearing his sunglasses? Uh, yeah, but they're like on the very tip of his nose. Okay, I still I look him at least have the manners to take off his sunglasses and be respectable when you kill people. <laughs> You're absolutely right. I'm going to take them off right now. What am I? Um, he remind him of his manners, and he is, in fact, a gentleman and a, and a lawyer. A lawyer. And he takes off his sunglasses. Not only does he take off his sunglasses, his entire clothes transform. Uh, he is now wearing um, a suit of a half plate armor, uh, a full visor on his head, and you can see um, under the full plate ar under the half plate he has a um, a black and white gambeson. And. As his cloak disappears, you can see he has two large black wings that remind, of, remind you of the wings of a moth. It keeps getting worse. <laughs> it's not good, I would suspect. <laughs> I'm going to finish you and, and you. And he points at you, and then he points at the cat. You don't know oh, who the man. cat is, but you get the strong feeling that uh, she means a lot to him. Oh, what? I mean, it, it is a very cute cat. I suspect it would mean a lot to anybody. Hang on, we were at... Uh, da, 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 da. So, it's going to be Mistle's turn when we return, but now 
we're going to do our first break. See you again in five minutes. So that being said, uh, I will say, um, once you finish your encounter or leave the scene you're in right now, Stacy and Cesare, um, you will be able to join the encounter um, that um, Xiomara is in. But that being I said, um, I did say, yes, sorry? But I left. Yeah, you don't, you no longer, no. Um. I did say, um, if there's any questions, um, I will answer them now before we carry on with the game. Oh, um, then I'll... my question is, uh, the acid arrow should have hit good man nonetheless, because it says um, on a miss, um, the target will get half the damage and no damage at the end of its next turn. That's a very good point. Um, what was the damage you rolled, uh, Calyx? I didn't roll any damage yet. <clears throat> to be honest, let me do it right now. Yeah, please, go ahead. Seven, mm. thirteen. Um, so it's gonna be seven damage away, seven acid damage. Let me just see. Hope he's not resistant to acid. He is not. <laughs> he takes the full seven damage. Baby, you know, seven. It's better than zero, in my opinion. True. It is. <laughs> I completely agree. Um, I was going to ask the party how they're feeling, besides that. Yeah. Oh. Um, I have a quick question. Please, ask your question. Uh, can I do like anything like call for any backup now that I'm outside of combat? Um, I would like to, uh, you, you definitely can, you're out of combat, and we're going to deal with, deal with that at the end of this round. Okay. That's okay with you. Yeah, um, of course. So, wait, one moment. Uh, yeah, I was gonna write down that you only have this much HP left. <laughs> this <laughs> many. Um, any more questions? No. How are we all feeling right now? I'm mean... good. Mm -hmm. I was first wondering. To, uh, ah, yeah. Sorry. What will happen to Roberto's uh, child and wife when he dies? <laughs> I don't um, know he's dead you. already, and oh uh, I think that is just for the players to find out. Wow. When Flora goes and... back to um, his home to talk with. Um, Flora's Sophia. gonna have so many emotional <laughs> devastations. Yeah, that's. Uh... Why does everyone yeah, around her die? To, uh, I did ask you at the top of the session to have a moment of emotional honesty. <laughs> so You keep killing oh, every man see, around her. Alive. Come again? You keep killing every man that interacts with her. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign to not interact with men anymore. Oh. <laughs> you are made Casual. you are not made for men, you are made for women. <laughs> Casual misandry from your GM. Who would have thought? Um, okay. Uh, also, that means that's Flora that's... surrogate mother arc, when? Sure. Um, hang on, I, I had a thought and you all distracted me. Amazing. Nice. So yeah, uh, that's for the players to find out, Maxi. I can't believe <laughs> okay. Flora would kill Roberto. I can't believe, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I asked her nicely not to kill someone this session and she did so anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, um, any more questions? I will, do, I will limit it to one question and then we can carry on. Uh, my question, uh, personally, so I'm not going to rob that one from chat if they have another question, is does my character know about the Red King or is that new? Hmm. Or Red Lord, uh, I mean. The Red Lord. Um, I would just ask your character, right? Why don't you give me a history check at advantage? <laughs> History is, I think, intelligence. So... Correct. Oh. <laughs> you do this on purpose. Oh, I oh, got it! I accidentally triple advantage. I can't believe it. Uh, I'm just gonna go with a zero. <laughs> no. Wow, zero. I'm just gonna go with the highest one and say you rolled an eighteen. I know, I'm so nice. Oh. Um. <laughs> You heard children's stories. Out in the countryside, they talk about this very dapper man who's followed by an army of rats and other little creatures. 
and he some he's sometimes known to appear in a city um, as a nobleman and maybe a, a lawman. Uh, but his beauty is said to always hide his true intention, which is to um, throw everything into the abyss. And you thought it was a fairy tale until now, fighting these two rat people who really think they're being led by the rat by the rat lord. Okay, thank you. No worries. It's gonna so, help um, me with my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy, um, it's your turn. You have a bonus action and your movement. Okay. Um. So. Also, I'm... your um. Yeah, Sadie, you did see um Stacy turn into a small silver dragon. Nice. A Komodo dragon. Sure. <laughs> okay, so um, I turn to Seti and look at him question with a question face um, expression um, because uh, I want to know if he thinks it's good to at attack them or if we should just book it and leave. But because I'm in Komodo dragon form, I can't talk. <laughs> so right. uh, you did, did you not change. Well, you didn't change from. You didn't become a silver wormling, did you? No, no, not a silver oh, wormling. Oh, in that case, you actually still have your action because you didn't transform again. Uh, so yeah, Sadie, you did not see her turning into a silver dragon. You just see her turning into a silver scaled Komodo dragon, which you okay. already did see. Indeed. And she looks at you um, with her big green eyes. Yeah, it's of my turn, right? Um, can I can reply? I, can, speaking as a free action, yes. Just, just go. I'll talk to them. All right. Then uh, uh, so. I nod and I go in the direction Seti points out. Which is this direction? So, Probably. um, Stacy. Uh, let me just see how long that is. It's gonna be 20 to get here, and another 35, uh, 40. Uh, if you use a dash action, you could make it out of here and want it. Yeah, I then I use my dash action because I trust. And she's Patty. gone. And she's gone. We will deal with what ha we will deal with what happens to you after combat. Yes, that's fine. So, um. Now it is Mistel's turn, or the Sanatrol. So, um, but, 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 back to the dormitory. So, back into the dormitory, uh, Siamara, um, you see the acid arrow barely hit, uh, Goodman, who takes off his eyeglasses and transforms in front of you. You realize now that his veneer was only an illusion. Hiding this true self, which appears some kind of evil fae creature. Uh, you can see another person step into the room. Equally tall, equally dark, um, wearing a long dark cloak and a strange bird skull mask. And with a very um, soft but imposing voice, they turn to Goodman and say, There's been a new contract, Goodman. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask to stop. And Goodman turns to the figure and says, Seneschal, now, why would you be, why would you try to go against me? You know, you know the rules. I'm above you in the hierarchy. And this mark knows too much. Uh, he points at you with one of the swords and um, the Seneschal says, a new con and there's a new stipulation in the contract of the prince. You may not harm this one or any of her friends. Ah, that's... And he turns back to Well, that's unfortunate. I guess I'm just going to have to kill all the other witnesses. Um, after this conversation, um, the uh, Seneschal is going to sigh. You can see this big, this big uh, hooded figure is kind of um, slump a little bit. And then they're going to use an action. 
They're going to use it a side attack against uh, the dude. So that's gonna be. It's gonna be 27, which hits. It's going to deal. Nine damage. And since he is below hit point maximum, he's also going to do uh, an additional. 12, so it's gonna do a total of 21 damage. Oof. Great! One, four. Uh, perfect. Um, and I'm gonna use the bonus action to. Uh, <laughs> you can see it is kind of dim lit in this uh, in this place, and the cloaked figure is going to teleport in front of you. And kind of turn her, turn their back on you, so uh, they're kind of protecting you, but mostly they're just barring the door for Goodman. So, you see all this. Uh, what what do you think Simara is thinking as this is happening? As two other strange creatures are now in your room, <laughs> apparently oh, yeah. opposed to the first one. <laughs> I think they are in a lot of pain, so I think they're getting a little bit delirious. Um, and I think, oh my god, two pretty people in my dorm room? <laughs> you do not. There's also a corpse, and also you don't know if the, if the second one oh, is the pretty corpse. since they're wearing a mask. I, I don't care. They, they, they're trying to protect me. That is so hot, actually. Um, that's so much better than whatever Flora did by jumping out of the window. Speaking <laughs> uh, out think, of the window, I, I, um, yeah? Go ahead. I am trying to ignore the corpse in my room. I'm not thinking about the corpse. That's a problem for future me. That's no. Vegas already not think about the corpse. <laughs> um, so, that being said, the window behind you is open and Goodman can see through that uh, window. If I'm not mistaken, Dimension Door stipulates that you just have to see the place. For that, Goodman is going to cast is going to use a reaction to cast Dimension Door. He's gone. <laughs> Uh, you can see um, the, the electrical um, currents running all around him disappear. Uh, and you can hear a little voice in your head say, Fuck! As now the cat steps into his place and is looking at the place where he, want, where he was before. In frustration. <laughs> um, so, Goodman is gone. So... Good. <laughs> I, I feel like this is turning from a combat into a chase, so that's good. <laughs> Uh, questions, Yomara. Do you consider Flora your friend? Like, right now, I do not know if I would consider her my friend. Um, the betrayal sits very, very deep. Ooh. But I think... Mm, she's I my that... companion, but I also think that she's a coward. So, uh, so um, that being said... Um, for the I purposes... didn't get you... Laura did yes. try to get you help, by the way. Yeah, but it still didn't work, and then she just left me. And Siomara <laughs> does not know that, so I'm asking what Siomara is feeling in this very mm -hmm. moment. So mm -hmm. Siomara is kind of dubious about the whole friendship thing, which is fine. Uh, for the yeah. purposes of this new contract that uh, the Seneschal Hooded Figure managed, uh, mentioned, um, I was going to lay it out to you. Goodman can't hurt you anymore. Or hmm. anyone who is a friend to Siomara. Yeah, that poor Roberto. So, um... Do I consider Flora a friend? Ah, oh, this is such a hard question. Um... I'm just gonna ask you, uh, is the rest of the party your friends? Hmm. Stacy is definitely my friend. <laughs> um... Okay. I think... Mm, Azizi too. But in yeah. a weird way, um, <laughs> which which only you know what I mean with that, which is very good. Um, yep. Yeah, I, I think Sadie and um, Flora are more like more like allies, allies, more like companions, and not yet on the um, friend thing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, what about um, the students of the university? Just all of them. Everyone who's at the university today. Yeah, none of those are my friends. Uh, well, rest in peace, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know many of them, and the ones I know was like the, the guy who always smokes weed. Right, I um... just, I want his life to be the worst thing that has ever happened to him, so... Yeah. So that being said, um, uh, it is now um, where we're at one's turn. <laughs> Flora, you had a question. Uh, just uh, how did he, um, uh, how did he cast the mansion door? Because that takes um, an action. He has a feature that he can call, uh, cast it as a reaction if um. It's an enchantment on his sword, basically, that, um... If he connects with an attack with that sword, he can cast Dimension Door as a reaction. Mm. On that turn. Is that satisfying? I told you! It, this is not like a level 4 kind of yeah. encounter. <laughs> I, it's not balanced for you. I want this sword now. Okay, oh, you have one of the, um... one of the swords. The creature must be within five feet of you when you cast a spell. Uh, he cast it on himself. Okay. Um, upward northward to 45 degree angle, 300 feet, or 200 feet straight down. Uh, yeah, we can worry about where, just where he teleported himself to um, when this, it's your turn, Flora, okay? Because I'm not sure if he can really see me through the window. He didn't see you, but he did look outside, and you know that he jumped out. Okay. Or rather, if even he doesn't know, you know, the first step to finding you is getting out of the is, is getting out of the cramped space. <laughs> so, really, um... they should close the door behind them. <clears throat> mhm. Mm um. <laughs> so, uh, that being said, uh, it is now where red number one's turn. So the were rat has a speed of 30. Who is it? Who is it? It's gonna be you. It's gonna use a dash action and step right up to you. And then it's going to, yep, and then it's going to skitter at you. It's going to so. Kinda cute. <laughs> It is then uh, where at number two's turn, who is gonna do the exact same thing. And there it is. So, and Sadie, it's your turn. All right. In my turn, I'm gonna use my action to take the dodge action. Yep. <clears throat> and I'll... Dodge action means. Everything has a disadvantage on attacking you, right? Indeed. And I will oh. look uh, one of them in the eyes. Yeah. And tell him, Trust me, the man or person you're following has no good intent for you. Go home. Um, they look at you kind of confused. Please give me a persuasion check. You can do it. I believe in you. Persuasion plus zero. And before you do that, oh. um, I want to say, um, please, instead of adding your charisma, add your wisdom modifier. Oh, that's better. Because Ooh! you're trying to, you're trying to influence them. You're trying to. Um... Yes, but like I rolled an eighteen straight. So with my wisdom, that's a twenty. Ooh! Finally, a good roll. E, I believed in you. <laughs> Thank you. Teddy, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and they look at you confused for a moment, and then they say, Wait. The Rat Lord? But, but he's the Rat Lord. He's our Lord. What, 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 why would he not have good intentions for us? Only aims to he only aims to please himself. Whatever it takes. Uh, can't believe he fooled us like this. He will pay. The Rat Lord will pay. Thank you, good friend. What is your name? 
Sassetti. Sassetti the Snake Lord, we shall follow you until <laughs> death. We shall tell the others. Long live Seti the Snake Lord. <laughs> they spit her off. God damn. <laughs> Seti, um, I'm just gonna say on your next turn you make it out. <coughs> yep, I have. I uh, can uh, technically I can now still move then. Uh, oh yeah, you have uh, fifty you have, um, snake lord. <laughs> you have um, step feet. of the wind, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. but I just have I have fifty feet movement, so if I just dash, I yep. can dash on one hundred. You did feet. it! You did it! You're out. <laughs> yeah, the tunnels. Okay, so speak <laughs> snake lord. <laughs> Let me just. This is a mess, guys. Do you know? The, 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 the snake queen is gonna be so mad when she hears I'm challenging her domain. <laughs> uh, let's see here. You put this um, to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Thank you. I'm just gonna explain to you what's gonna happen. So. Clara, you fled the building, but you're still in the, on the university grounds. Mm hmm. Hmm. Trying to get out and trying to get, you know, out of reach. You trying, know, to get out, trying to get out of reach. Um, Goodman teleport out the building and it's not going to take long until he tracks you down again. And you get the idea that uh, the problem isn't that you keep, that you're alive. The problem is that you keep talking to people and <laughs> keep seeing him and that maybe... People seeing him and you together is a deadly combination. Um, Shimara, you're alive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you've been joined by, by a strange friend. Um, the guardsman Roberto is fucking dead. Well, shit happens. I hope his family has life insurance. Um... I mean, you don't know this, but his uh, wife is noble. There's nobility. Ah, they're gonna be fine. <laughs> So, let's see here. Uh, you two are in Snake's Nest, but not for long. So. Let me just quickly describe what happens to Sadie and Stacy. You run down the hall, you run down the tunnel, and you get deeper and deeper, and it gets darker and darker, and you realize some, this tunnel has been strangely enchanted. And before you know it, you appear in the very same dormitory that uh, Flora was just in. Uh... You appear in the hallway. Uh, you, you, you it takes a while to, to get your bearing, but you see that um, Roberto is lying limp on the floor, his arm hacked off. Um, not Tom is there, and also the strange figure with the cloak, uh, with the cloak and the bird mask. Siomara is also standing there. So, I'm just gonna add everything back on the turn order. I think uh, if you had a turn five. Um, yep. Let's see here. Uh... Oh, wait, the rats are still on turn. Okay, um. But yeah, I'm just gonna um, add you all back to the um, turn order and then we're going to start a chase. I'm still a Komodo dragon. <laughs> you are still very much a Komodo dragon. Siomara, you see uh, Sissetti suddenly run into the hallway. You're not even sure where he came from. He could have sworn he appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and he's joined by a Komodo dragon with silver scales and uh, green eyes. And on the wrong map, I think. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. There'd be so much weird shit happening today in this university. <laughs> I mean. Just a regular dad university, if you think about it. Yeah, it could have been worse. The guy who smokes weed could have also thrown up. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Kinda, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna clear this, the turn order. Uh, wait, no. No, no, no. That's a bad idea. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe we should... Get the practice snake more. Of... So, come on, dragon, stay safe. Steady. Laura gets a turn. Laura, you had a 24. You had a 21, right? I had a... Yes. I had a 4, I think. 4. Stacey uh, had a 21, yeah. too. 
Coming out at 25. And I think that's it. No, no mistaken, yeah, we have Goodman, Flora, Stacy, um, Corpse Roberto, uh, not Tom, um, Xiomara, the Seneschal, and Seti. So, um, Flora, you're back in the turn order. I'm gonna say it's gonna take you um, 60 feet. Wait, what are you trying to do, Flora, on your turn? Oh, God. So I I know that. Do I have like? Do I know that like? He's out here with me. Give me a perception check. Thank you, Maxi. Yes, is that classic much beloved game? <laughs> uh, eighteen. Uh, you definitely heard uh, somebody casting a spell and a, 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 a malign presence landing ne near to you. Uh, I'm Great. just going to roll a d. I'm just going to roll two d20s to see how far away from you he is. He's currently forty feet away from you. Forty feet. F Fourteen. Look in chat. Fourteen. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast my favorite spell again. <laughs> You're going to cast Zephyr Strike to bring your movement speed up to 45, I believe? Uh, well, it's plus 30 feet. Up to 60, okay. Yeah. But that's... Isn't it only when you uh, attack? Yeah, it's after attack. <laughs> uh, Alright, um, so... You can't set yeah. a strike on yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, d so, I know it's near you, and I just came out the window. Um, I'm just seeing it too, but he's now, uh, he's now looking at you. He's wearing his full armor. He's got his gambus and his half plate, um, his intimidating full visor, and mm -hmm. his wings are just full out. It's like he doesn't um, care about being seen. Do I... what else? Do I see with, like, my perception check? Do I see, like, Sassetti and, like, Daisy? Uh, unfortunately, you do not. However, you do see that, a, that you got a pretty fast uh, exit path if you should choose to get rid of him. Oh, we don't know how many more teleports he's got inside of him. Um... So. Yeah, uh, it's gonna take you... 120 feet to um, to shake him for good and go ask for help. Can you can I ask you what your main plan is here? Like, who would you ask for help now that you're out that you're basically out of dodge? I don't know. Like, maybe like um, I don't know. Like some student guard or something. The mall okay, cops. Um... <laughs> so yeah, once again, um, to find the n nearest person, you're gonna have to travel 120 feet. Um, could I make use my action to make an acrobatics check to get back into the window? Um, you can get into the window, but you're gonna have to make the acrobatics check to find a way around uh, Goodman so that he doesn't get an attack of opportunity. Oh, he doesn't get an attack of opportunity yeah, anyway, so. Because I, I have Zephyr Strike. Um, Alright, so, so I... yeah. Um, good. Uh, yeah, give me the acrobatics check. Okay. So that's a 20. For 20, um, you're going to use your uh, 30 feet of movement to get back into the window. Um, Goodman just about spots you and he's going to—he's just about to make another one-liner as you climb into the window. Uh, you can see now uh, Ciceri is there. So is an old, an old uh, acquaintance of yours that you didn't think to see again. It's Listel. 
And a Komodo dragon. <laughs> and a Komodo dragon. So yeah. Several oh. old faces and a new lizard. Um. Uh, so. Uh, um. You still have... So you used your action to make the acrobatics check, which means you also used all of your movement. You can say something. Um, I'm going to say to Miss Hell. Miss Del? Miss Del. Miss Del. Did I say that right? Yes. Okay. Miss Del, I missed you. But right now, um, don't be trying to kill me. So, as much as I love to catch up, um, kind of have to deal with that. Uh, come again. What did you say? I missed you. Okay, and then before that, and after that? Uh, Goodman's trying to kill me. Goodman is trying to kill you, okay. Um, they're gonna very, they're gonna very brusquely turn to you. You can see, um, they you don't really betray a lot of emotion, but, um, they actually look kind of surprised and elated at seeing you, as I say. You can certainly try, but... The stipulations of his contract forbid it. However, your friends are still at stake. We must deal with them shortly. And then you see Not Tom is behind them and says, Meow. No. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tyndall says to the windows, to the walls, till my death cost me two falls. Yay! <laughs> uh, Stacy, it is now your turn. Okay, then. At first, I use my bonus action to release my wild shape form, and while doing so... How, wait it's... a moment. Um, that's okay. not a bonus action. That costs nothing. I will not have you waste your, your bonus actions here. Okay. Then, um, yeah, I release my, my wild shape form, and uh, I specifically um, have my, my own image in mind, so normal green eyes and so on no scale so, yeah, you look like an elf not like a dragon person uh, pr correctly because i remember that nashu said i have to keep that in mind so my form doesn't slip yes uh, so yeah you you see the komodo dragon um glittering and getting bigger and um stacy sits on the floor. Uh, she gets up. And yeah. first of all, uh, I, I turn to to the strange gathering of people. Seti and me don't quite know everyone from. And Stacy asks, what is happening in here? Um. It's just don't sit on the floor, it's covered in dark shit. Maybe. Um, you don't know that. <laughs> it's already covered in a lot of things. Um, Mistel, the, the cloaked figure turns to you and says, There will be time enough to explain once we've dealt with the situation. You're fr you are very much in danger and I'm afraid an associate of mine has gone rogue. I'm, I'd have to ask you to brace yourself. So, um, Stacy gets the idea that whatever is coming, it's coming soon, and it's not going to be great. Then I, I turn back to Seti and say, Oh man, I'm still not sure what the, the tingling in my lungs tried to tell me. Wait, it, it, it wasn't this? I mean, now we are in even greater danger. I thought it was... First we run away from the danger, then I got worse with my condition, then we went back. But now it seems like we're in, the, in an even bigger mess. Okay. Maybe so, uh, maybe your belly is trying to tell you when people need help. I will keep that in mind. Ooh, very good, Seti, being the moral compass. <laughs> um, so, you still have your action bonus action and pull movement, Stacey. Right now I see, like, nothing to really do okay are you gonna hold your action um, um let's see what i could do should floor respond to stacy uh, yeah can... certainly certainly 
Uh, um, if you want a very quick laydown of things, uh, um, I was trying to have a conversation with Sandy. Then a rat turned into a person. Now it's trying to kill us. And, uh, it, it, that's basically it. This is, the, you know, that friend that I told you about. That's them. Uh, I, I think they're helping us. I, I like them. I trust them. They're good. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you can see the the, 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 the tall cloaked figure um raise a hand very curtly and kind of shortly wave at you. Uh, well. Faith is completely uh, um, confused about this quick rundown because she never heard Flora talk this much so fast. <laughs> <laughs> so Stacy turns to to Seti, puts her hand on Seti's shoulder, and says, "I can't make up my mind what to do, but." The Mother Nature will, will will guide us, so I cast Guidance on Seti. That's my action. Very good. Um, so... Uh, ba, 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 ba. Cool. Um, that's going to be... The cat's turn. Uh, the cat... Um, Steps through uh, Xiomara's, steps, steps in, th in between Xiomara's legs and actually looks at you, Stacy. And for the first time, you also hear the voice in your head as she says, "Stacy, uh, this might be a little bit of a shocker, but I can talk, and also I'm going to need you to uh, help me a bit. Can you give me a bit of your magic?" Uh, in my mind, I say, uh, yes, for sure, but which kind of magic? Because we might need to be a little bit cautious wi in which you tap. <laughs> I'll I'll take anything you can give me. So, uh, Stacy, um, if you give the cat magic, it is going to be one of your highest level spell slots. Yeah, yeah, then it should be a level... Oh, yeah, it's a... Uh from the second level. Okay. I, I marked Mark it down off. down one level two spell slot. So, um... um she, can I uh, add... Yeah? Um... Is one portion of my magic enough, or would it be wiser to give you even a little bit more? I can only take so much at a time, but thank you. Okay. Good. Then we stay um, at one slot. Very good. Um, on her turn, you can also see Sadie for the first time. The cat uh, seems a little bit different. Um, it started floating, and also there's like a small aura of lightning floating around her. Uh, and she's going to uh, she's going to do the thing that the bagel emote does, and going to uh, raise her <laughs> head and, and yell. And all of you immediately feel electrified. So I'm just going to read to you what um, the spell she just cast does. Bonus actions. Mass enchant weapons. Tom alters the weave, uh, not Tom alters the weave surrounding her ally's arms. For the next minute, that is 10 turns, the weapons deal an additional 1d8 lightning damage and become magical. So you all do a deal an additional uh, 1d8 lightning damage with your weapon attack. And also for the purpose of resist resistance, uh, they don't count as physical attacks, but as magical. All right. Uh, is that clear? Yes. Yep. yep. Very good. Uh, Xiomara. Okay. With us. Um, I am. I am with us so much. Okay. So, uh, if I look out of the window, can I see Goodman? Yes, he's standing in the courtyard and he's looking up at the window. He's looking okay. back at you. Okay. 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 I will. Very quickly turned to Flora, who, how I noticed, like I went out of the room and she was just gone. She wasn't there anymore. You did see her but, climb back in. Yeah, but still, like, like when I was hurt, when I didn't know that he couldn't hurt me anymore, she was just gone. Like, 
No, no matter that's what I mean. You know that in. she left, otherwise she couldn't have come back. Yeah, yeah, so she's turned on her. And I pointed her and like very accusing and I'm like, you, you know, at least I wouldn't call you pathetic because I do not know if this is just how you are or if this is how you react under stress. But at least I can respect Goodman for not being a fucking coward and leaving me alone after you see one person die. And then I turn back to the window and I cast um, Firebolt at Goodman. Um, one thing, first of yes. all. Uh, thank you for fulfilling the prompt. You have destroyed somebody verbally. <laughs> I'm not even finished yet. I have to say. Second of all, um... Heck yeah, Mara really is going over the Give me the attack roll at advantage, please. Okay, wait, let me, let me do it twice. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Um, do you think I have my staff of burning with me? Uh, of course. Uh, okay, very nice, very nice, very nice. Which means you add your, um, intelligence modifier, don't you? And no, my spell, damage. my, yeah, my, my spell attack modifier to the damage. Oh, yeah, shit. Nice. Yeah, because I just six. looked it like up again. Yeah, okay. Let me, let me wall the damage. And which is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Something. But that would be, um, seven. See? So that's seven basic fire damage. Unfortunately, this does get reduced down, reduced down to four. I mean, four is better than zero. Um... <laughs> I believe... Okay. Um, just have to remember what his HP was at. Uh, I think it was... Wait, no. I don't remember what his HP was then. <laughs> uh, I deleted his icon from the map, which was a bad idea. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna say he's at a certain amount of HP. Great! Okay, okay, I'm not finished. And I, I, will, I will turn away from the window again, and I will step in front of Flora with my back to her, so that I'm like, like shielding her. But I will still talk, and I go, even though we are not friends, and I would never consider you my friend after this, I will still try my best to keep you at least alive during this. But never think that this is because of you. And I'm done. Can Flora Excellent. respond? Uh... <laughs> you can try. <laughs> you know what? I think you should give me a charisma saving throw to see how flabbergasted you are. Um... Did it. Just one second. Uh, da -da -da. I just need to check something because uh, da -da. Oh, of my Fey Wanderer thing. Um, any charisma check. So yes, I add my wisdom to my charisma check. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna add my wisdom to my charisma check. Did I yeah. I guess no sexy backsies. I was going. I wanted to say saving throw, but yeah, that works too. Doom. Why one? How much? Why one? Unfortunately, Flora, you're too flabbergasted by this sheer amount of directness. <laughs> so, um, that being said, it is now Mistle's turn. They are going to... Emotional <laughs> damage. <laughs> what? I've been through a lot. Hmm. They're going to step to uh, the window that you just left behind, Siomara, and take out a longbow and... Shoot it. Shoot it right at the bastard. Which is going to be... Hang on. Uh... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Doo -doo -doo. Da -da. Which is going to hit and deal... <laughs> Yep. 
You know, additional 13 piercing damage. Hooray. Nice. Oh, and an additional, an additional 1d8 lightning, which... Hooray. That's 21 Yippee. points of damage. I'm gonna have so many d8s. <laughs> sure do. Um... And then they're actually gonna turn back into the room. Ooh. And kneel in front of the corpse. So, that's gonna be that. That's gonna be their turn. Uh, and Seti, you're up. Um... Okay, I need to quickly... have a reading of the place before... Because I was thinking, like, am I going after or am I trying to help uh, Roberto, but I don't think I can help him. You have not yet seen Roberto. I have not even seen him yet. As far as you know, he's just out chilling. <laughs> Having a great old day. He's out with his like, child playing ball or fetch or something. Exactly. <laughs> This morning, his son said, uh, when you come back home, please tell me a story. Oh, I've never got to come home. Damn it, Siska. The prompt wasn't for you to emotionally destroy me. Well, <laughs> I, know, I know how to break hearts, let me tell you. Yeah. I'm, tr I'm looking at Stacy to see what she wants me to do, but... Like, Komodo dragon, please tell me. What should I do? Uh, she's no longer Komodo dragon, oh. to be fair. Tell uh, Komodo dragon, said, tell me what to do. <laughs> um, you have heard all of the explanations. You know that there is a very dangerous thing outside. Though you're not quite sure what it is. You heard it might be a rat. And it might also be a man. And then it occurs to you. Ah. Is this the, the rat lord? lord? <gasps> okay. <laughs> The Rat Lord. Okay, then I dash it. <laughs> then I then I got a dash behind after the Rat Lord. And... Okay, um, <laughs> jump out of the window. You can just yeah. do that. It's going to take ten feet of movement. Uh, uh yeah, however, I, I can just use my slow fall. <laughs> and you just fall. Oh, you fall God. outside, and you see um, all six foot five um of Goodman. You see a very tall man. With large black moth like winds, uh, wings in full half plate, uh, with a black and white gambit and a full visor. And you can see he has two very mean looking short swords, and he was staring very intently at Flora a minute ago, and now he's staring at you. He says, oh, Looks like another corpse, then. Right, so, um, Siomara at this moment is a setting your friend. Uh, uh, what do we, uh, friend questions? Is he, wait, wait, I will, I will decide the Super Bowl of the dice. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't nice know if you are my friend. <laughs> do note, Seti is a man. No. <laughs> uh, voilà. Seti is my friend right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. That's, okay. Um, Goodman is... Going to look at you for a moment, Sassetti, a cock his head, and say, Hello there, friend. What do you think expects you after to do? Wait, I didn't understand that last part of the sentence. Um, he asked, What do you think waits for you after death? Hmm. I'm, uh, I'm gonna take that in and use my action to take the do dodge action. Yeah. And uh, ready myself in case he approaches me and say a redemption. He's the back by that. Is that your turn? That's my turn. So he's going to turn to you and actually put away his swords. And then, uh, seemingly out of nowhere, he materializes the most beautiful longbow you've ever seen. Excellent craftsmanship. It appears to be, it appears to be not even entirely real. It's like almost translucent. And 
He says, uh, and he uh, plucks an arrow from his quiver, uh, points the bow at you and says, Have fun being redeemed, I guess. So that's going to be... Mm -hmm. ba, 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 ba. A disadvantage. Which that probably still hits. <laughs> that's fair. Um, what's your DC? Uh, what's your AC? 15. Cool. <laughs> So that should be um, 2d20 kl1, right? Yep. 26. Okay. And it's going to deal... Uh, mm -hmm. A bow sword, a bow that fires swords. No. No. My bow <laughs> wings. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. So this one plus It's gonna be twenty piercing and um one day it falls. Okay, so the three fours I'm already taking. For the twenty piercing, I'm gonna reduce use my deflect missiles mm -hmm. to reduce the damage with ten. So um. So I take ten damage from the. You take ten, piercing. ten piercing damage and three force damage. Yeah. Uh, you can see the arrow. Um, you get your hand up in time. It kind of deflects off your hand, but it takes off a good. It takes <laughs> off a good chunk of the of the skin of your back of the back of your hand. It hurts like a motherfucker, and also you can see there's burn marks on your hand now. Oh shit! Shit's on fire, yo. Yeah, indeed. Oh. <laughs> and then he's going to um, take a short bow and say. Go back to your lighter. And he's going to use Shade Step. Shade Step. Let me see here. Uh, for him, that means... Yep. And he's going to teleport back into the dorm. So, oh, where are you, my beautiful bastard? In the dorm. No. I teleport at the, into the far window. Okay, so... Sadie, you're, you're back outside. Um, Goodman has left you outside and is now on the inside. Fuck. Uh, Flora, you're up. I... Before I'm going to shoot um, Goodman, can I talk to... Can I say something to... Um, Am I still recovering from what Sandy said to me, or am I, can I talk to them again? Talk oh, now. Um, I'm going to say to them in Sylvan. Um, I came to you, I talked to you, even though I didn't, and I got help for you, and he's dead. He's dead because of me. He had a family. He had a, a kid and a wife, and he's now dead because of me. And then I left because I want to get help, and you, I can't carry you because I'm not strong enough. But no, all I get is more complaints. Um, Whatever. I'm just going to uh, shoot this guy and anything, hope it works. Before I do anything else, uh, give me a charisma saving throw. Okay. Ooh. Just like a saving throw? Can I check? Here was my saving throw. Okay. Two. Eighteen. Why one again? Twenty-one. Um, you feel a single tear roll down your cheek. Okay, what did you want to do? 
I'm just gonna shoot good men. You're gonna shoot the men? The good men? Yes. Well, if it's a good man, you better bring a good shot. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna Keep shoot him mind. with my longbow. He's been- he's- he's still smoldering from the, uh, spell that, uh, the cap used on him. I so also have, have, have yeah? um, advantage because I still have that first strike. You do? That's... it's not good. Okay, that's a bit better. B. Do, do, do. Why did I close my calculator? <laughs> Well, okay. well, it wouldn't be a chaos crew, a chaos crew D and D stream okay, without so a little bit of the chaos. The higher roll is a twenty-four. Hits, roll damage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to roll my D eight like three times. I think you do physical damage. Um, I do physical damage, damage and frost damage. Force if I'm not mistaken. I also uh, do. Um, I can tell um, you. I can tell you from the top though that that. Um, I also do psychic damage and cold damage. I'm gonna tell you one thing up up front. Um, he's immune to cold damage. Okay, so should I remove the cold damage? Yes. Okay. So that is the. We have a digital ice dragon, and he's immune to it. Tee <laughs> hee. <laughs> <laughs> well, sucks to suck. <laughs> Almost like I learned from my past mistakes. <laughs> so it's a two for the psychic damage. Two. Which gets reduced down to one. Uh, so it's a two for the physical damage. Yes. Two for the, um, uh, Force damage. Yes. And a five for the lightning damage, I think it was. Correct. Okay. The lightning is going to get reduced, uh, it's going to get buffed up to 10. Okay. Which means. Okay, he's now sitting at a slightly lower amount. Also, uh, I forgot, I misread the stat block. He is, in fact... Oh, wait, no, all of your attacks are magical, so don't worry about that. Yeah. Yep. So, cool. should I roll kill cold damage? Uh, no. Okay. He's unfortunately still immune to cold damage. It's just, um, before, before he got debuffed by the cat, he was also uh, resistant to all physical attacks. Okay. Basically what the cat did is um, she debuffed him in such a way that he becomes weak to lightning damage um, mm -hmm. and that his AC gets reduced by 1d10, which in this case was 9. nine. Um, what she then did was also enchant all of you that you can do magical um, weapon attacks and also deal lightning damage, okay. which he is now weak to. I think that's my turn now. Very good. Stay safe. I think I might have fulfilled your prompt. I'm not sure. Uh, yep, you did. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Stacy was in earshot range when the, the Sylvan dialogue or monologue happened and is, of course, even more confused. Um, now you see that um, her body starts to light up and um, some stars begin to form on, on her body. While, while this happens, Stacy starts monologuing and says, oh, I can't believe in what mess you all took me. All I wanted to do was sitting in the taverna, eating my porridge, doing some nice stuffs, but now I'm in here and I can't believe you all are kind of like arguing about I don't know what I even understand and the, the languages but okay nevertheless I'm here to help and uh, I see the session is none of the player characters want to be here <laughs> <laughs> and I see everyone is like I don't know really 
uh, holding up roughly. So I'm here to deliver some relief. So um, the, the chalice on her chest made out of stars is finally um, fully formed. Yeah. And um, this is a bonus action for me to transform into my starry form. And with my action, I cast... Uh, where is it? Where are my spells? I can't believe... Um... I cast Healing Word on... Uh... Sandy at first. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a please give me the healing. Eight. Thank you. Eight hit points. And um because I am now in the chalice form, uh whenever oh I need to check if this is a bonus action or if it happens all the time. I think it's passive, the healing bonus. I think so too, but I better read it up. Maybe I should just pull it up. Archer. Wait. Ah, yeah, it's it's uh, passive. Good. Then um, I don't need any healing. Uh, a creature within thirty feet of range, which I can see, will gain. 1d8 plus 5 healing. Um, uh, one moment. Oh, wait. I didn't Chalice want to says, go. Um, regain hit points equal to 1d8 plus half your level in this class, which I believe is 1d8 mm, plus 2. This does not say on on my end. Oh, it, it's, it's a hey, mess. Hey, I'm not okay. reading through all that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> So it's many my words. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry that yeah, happened you, to you, you or congrats, I'm not reading all that. Weakness. Homework. Reading. Uh, yeah. no, it's, <laughs> it's my wisdom modifier and my wisdom modifier is five. And um I I give that roll to to Flora. Okay. Flora, you restore nothing. <laughs> Yeah. You. Okay. Yeah, because uh, you, um, you can give it to Xiomara again, I think. Yeah. Oh, then yeah. it's also for for Sandy. You can roll it yourself. It was one d eight, right? Yes, plus five. Okay. I'm okay. So smart. That's twelve. If I am correct, with seven plus five. Yes. Thank oh. you. It's very nice of you. I feel so very you good. Slightly better very now, well. Isn't that <laughs> nice? Not only slightly, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Uh, yeah, is that your turn, St Stacey? I do believe um... you still have your action, or was there your action to transform? No, my action was the healing word on... That's a, is that not a bonus? That's a bonus, no, right? Healing... Uh, I can healing also cast it as, as as normal action, right? Because it was also under my normal actions. Yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, okay. So what's left? Nothing. You're done. You're finished. Mm, no, wait. Uh, after yeah. patching up Sandy... There comes a sudden realization. Oh no, no, I didn't understand anything uh, Flora said, so I, I realized nothing. Don't worry, go on. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that's you don't on the speak. Quotes list for this session. I realized nothing, go on. <laughs> um, so, thank you for your magic. Not Tom is going to do something. Okay, bear with me, players, please. With two charges received, a grace of mercy from Xiomara and Stacey, um, Notom is going to cast pocket magic. All of you 
till your body is disintegrating into dust and rematerialize somewhere else. Something, some place that feels strange or not unfamiliar. You're transported into a demi plane uh, of dreams. Ooh. Mm. And now I, just have to pick up all of you. now I just have to pick up all of your goddamn icons again. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I did this to myself. I want to do something fancy for you. And this is what it, I get. It's very fancy. It is very I cool. It. Listen, uh, I rewarded your, um, your, your spontaneity. Your, like, 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 last session you surprised me when you wanted to talk to each other. I was like, okay, I have to do something special this session. So, god damn it. There's, uh, th th there's Misty Boy in the neutral. Uh, and there's the fucking cat. Uh, so, Mari can see one familiar object, which is your couch and uh, tea <laughs> table. Has, has apparently all yes. been transported here. Yeah, that's definitely not getting back out of the, the pocket. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not getting my deposit back anyhow, you know, I think it might as well happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ah, fuck. Ah, I broke my own rules, goddammit. She couldn't actually cast that spell yet, but I'm just gonna say she cast it right away, whatever. Um. So. <laughs> So, uh, she, you all hear it just inside your heads, um, this very calm voice saying, I gave us a little bit of room. Maybe this will give us the advantage we need. We're not out of the water yet. And she says water, you can see, um, a river materializes on one of the islands. So, you are now in a demi-plane of dream, who knows what might happen, but be careful what you think about. Stacy ah. immediately thinks of Flan. The city never thinks, so I'm fine. And um, that's going to be not Tom's turn. Siomara, it's your turn. Um, I listened um, to what Flora said, and I just like turned her a little bit like, it wasn't a complaint, it was an accusation. Those are mm. different. Um, and then I step in front of her again because. You know, I uh, live. But you want to protect her. Yeah, I'm really mad at her. Like, she's not my friend, but I also didn't want her to die. Um, and I will actually, as, with my bonus action, use my lifeblood. Um, so I take 2d4 damage to... Uh, um, uh, yes. <laughs> do you want to roll that, or you don't want me to roll that? Uh, you can roll that. Mm -hmm. One moment, let me just give HP to all the other NPCs. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, doo, doo, doo. It's two D four, right? Yeah. Also, I forgot somebody else came with you. Um, well, he didn't come. He was just kind of dragged along. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now my realization will hit. Um, 2d4. Sorry. You take 8 damage. Okay, that is totally fine. And then I will cast... Wait, where, where are my spells? Then I will cast... Um... Acid arrow again, but at advantage because I use lifeblood. Yes, please give me the roll. One. No, that's only two. Twenty-two and twenty-four. That's that hit. <laughs> twenty-four hit. Roll damage, please. We are on a roll. In a wall. I was gonna say, um, <laughs> the the purpley, uh, the purpley, um, sinewy stuff, um, they appear to be like strands of goop, but they're, but they're completely solid. And then the things connecting these islands, if you step in between them, you're gonna fall. What happens okay. to you when you fall in the dreamscape? Who knows? 
hopefully wake up. <laughs> wake up! <laughs> and you deal another 12 damage. Me. Cool. Uh, what are and... we gonna do? This, um, um, and and I, I will have to keep in mind that at the end of his next turn, he will take two um, d4 damage again. At the um, end I of think his next turn? At the end of his next turn, yes. Uh, um, quick question. Okay. Uh, one thing after the other. Is that all, Siomara? Um, I wait. I, I saw um, Seti jump out the window, right? So I will roll a d20 again, and he is Seti. now my friend. <laughs> He's yeah, still not Seti my friend. is now your friend. <laughs> well done. Very well done. <laughs> um... Uh, fight, okay, Laura, fight. question? Um, do we still have the lightning bonus? You do. Okay, so does, um, Sandy get the lightning bonus to... That's it it is only weapon attacks, I'm afraid. Okay. That was just my question. That's all. Okay. That's all? Yep. Turn into the Sanishal. Sanishal says, Oh, well, this is not how I expected today to end, but I will do what I have to do. And they're gonna do something real fucked up. No. First off, um, they're gonna transform. You can see, um, like, like in one of those werewolf movies, they stretch out their arms, they, they're cramping all over the pl pl place, they seem to be in pain for a moment, and then their body seems to liquefy and turn to smoke, as they now turn to a smoke elemental. Ooh. Okay, let me Ooh. just pull up the stat block. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So that was their bonus action, they still have all their movement. And an action. So, um... <laughs> What's the move for uh -oh. speed? 90 feet. <laughs> so this sentient cloud of smoke with arms and angry faces. Smoking face is gonna... out indeed. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna have to ask you to respect their pronouns, Maxi. Mistle uses they them pronouns. Mm-hmm. Mistle, though, Smoke Cloud is gonna stab up to Goodman and uh, give him the old one two. The old one two means two dabs. Mm, plus eight, yes. Donk, donk. Bonk, bonk. That's gonna be one hit. <coughs> Dealing. Wait, what? Oh yeah, it's not it's not a punch, it's a jab. So you can see um, the two cloud arms turn into blades and they slash a goodman. While he manages to dodge one of them, the other one hits him square in the sh square on the shoulder blade. And that's gonna be up, 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 two D eight plus five. Mm -hmm -hmm. Thirteen slashing damage. And 102. Uh, how much is that actually? How much is the fish? Yeah, right. Cool. Let me just tell you the way he looked at the beginning, he does not look that way now. He looks a lot, a lot worse than he looked at the start. But yeah. So that's gonna be Mistle's turn. Seri, what the snake lord doing? <laughs> the snake lord do be having 50 feet of movement. <laughs> yes. I should normally, if I could select the correct tool. Well, Maxi, you're assuming that Mistle is the antagonist. Flora would <laughs> tell you that they're not. They're my mm. bestie. I, the DM, however, I'm gonna say. Mm. <laughs> They're my bestie for the resty. Uh, can I can in, in, I can step on the wind over there? Just wondering, in, is the water? I don't know. Ah, fuck it. 
about to say, I don't. I, why ask if I just know I don't gonna know? I'm just gonna run over the water of the dreamscape. You're gonna run over the water. I'm just gonna see if you can have the move. If you have the movement speed, you do. Uh, yep. Where Wait. do you wanna go? 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, I'm gonna use Step of the Wind uh, to dash with a bonus action right over to the person who I don't know by name. Uh, which one? Both the of them? The big smoke elemental or the, the very dapper... Um... The very dapper person. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. And then I still have my action to uh, punch. Am I gonna punch or am I gonna stab? Um... I do I'm believe gonna... you can only punch or stab. Yeah, I, I can only punch or stab, so I'm gonna punch him in the schnaz. You punch him on his visor face. Yes. Please give me the attack roll. 24, baby. Fucking hell, yeah. Hits. Jeez. All right. So that is four bludgeoning, uh, mm -hmm. plus one d eight lightning. Yep. Oh, that's <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, it's eighteen uh, if I you cheat. Tell you how old lightning damage gets? Uh, how old lightning damage gets? Um, no, that's six. It's doubled, right? <laughs> I don't. We're so gonna do sixteen damage total. Yes. Wait, I, I need to check. I, I, I took bludgeoning for a reason. Uh, because of my crusher ability. Okay, you're gonna push him back? Yeah, I'm gonna push him back five feet back. He's pushed back. You go up to this motherfucker. Um, you're not intimidated by his otherworldly beauty and terrifying deadliness. Uh, you punch him in the face. Uh, he staggers. He fully staggers five feet back. That's it. <laughs> Is this how you think you're gonna redeem yourself? I can reply still before I end my turn. You can always reply, yeah. If my if my allies make it out alive, I'm already redeemed. Very good. Um, one moment. He's gonna use one of his legendary actions before <laughs> his turn comes up. So, oh, 60 feet, right? Mm hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna draw something. I'm just gonna draw a little bit. <laughs> I'm just gonna draw a little. I'm just gonna draw a little circle here. You know? gonna be fun. Yeah. Fun. Um. So, it's, it's gonna be a circle like this. I'm gonna prop it over here. So everyone in this circle, um, you are now um, moderately obscured. As he uses his reaction to cast Strangling Shadows, all creatures within 60 feet of Goodman are at least that are at least slightly obscured must make a DC 15 con uh, constitution save. So that means, uh, Cesare, Siomara, and Flora, give me that con save, please. <laughs> con save. La, 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 la. I'm just gonna look it up what it is for uh, Mistle. Wait, is it a magical effect? Yeah, yeah. I think I might have advantage then. If I need to, yeah. Uh, advantage on saving throws against spells or modern magical effects. Okay. All right, and it's a twenty-two. One D, baby. Not bad. Not bad. Um. Hmm. So your pass. However, let me just see if there's any more. <laughs> oh dear. Um, you are not silenced, none of you. Well done. Hey. However, one yeah. uh, d eight. Okay. Uh, you each take three damage. 
Oh, I wait, it takes two. Unless you're resistant to necrotic damage. So we all take three damage or six damage? You take three damage. Wait, I have a question. No, I'm. I, yeah. It's only poison. Um. Does the contract say that he can't hurt any of my friends, or does it he can't kill any of my friends? Ooh. He can't attack any of your friends. Ooh. Okay, good. So this isn't like an. Okay, okay, okay. I, I was a friend. Okay. Yeah, yeah, your friend. This is why I asked. Like, I, this isn't like a personal attack. I would guess. So. Good question. I only said hurt. Yeah. Yeah. So that being said, uh, I'm once again checking the ability. So yeah, what happens basically is um, he uh, gets hit in the face by Seti, gets, uh, he gets, his, gets the absolute shit kicked out of him. Um, he staggers back and he commands the shadows in a 60 feet radius around him to, st to try to strangle all of you. However, uh, you managed to um, step out of the way quickly enough for to shake the shadows off, and they don't take hold. However, you are somewhat affected by them. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> now it is his turn. <laughs> so come in, my man. You could have used reaction to parry that. That's fun. <laughs> by the way, steady. Um, good thing I don't learn these stat blocks off by heart beforehand, huh? Uh... <laughs> so it's Yamara, um, the tall, handsome, hooded figure. Do they? Do you consider them your friend? What is what? Mm. <laughs> Let me roll a d20 for that. <laughs> <laughs> because they did protect me, which is very important. But I also don't know them, and they seem too friendly with Flora for my liking. Um, but that's an 18. They are my friend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. In that case, um... So... Oh, we're at the start of the round! Fuck, I forgot another mechanic in this already very long fight. <laughs> uh, Seti, could you roll me a d10, please? Just a d20? A d10. Two. Let's see what you get. Ooh. A prize. Friends in strange places. A friendly plump appears. <laughs> Apparently, said he was thinking about that one time he groped a plump for the exit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it happens to a lot of us, okay? And... As if thinking out loud, a plump appears next to me. Let me just pull up the stat block for a flump. Twist the flump. <laughs> you all see a flump appear out of nowhere, which doesn't surprise you since you're kind of inside of a dream. Oh, it's so cute. I'm not yeah. sure I know what a flump is. It has these blue little tentacles and everything. So Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to... Hmm. Wow, I can't use it on... I can't use it on D&D Beyond because I don't have the manu monster manual there. Wow. Which is fine. Uh, I'm gonna pull that up real quick. Oh, so it's like a weird jellyfish? It is an aberration, yeah. It's like yeah. a floating jellyfish who has opinions about religion. Hey, I have another <laughs> question real quick. Yeah? Can I for like a minute run to the restroom? <laughs> because I drink so much energy drinks. Oh no, it's the monster uh, curse. I suggest we all take yeah. a five minute we take another five minute break, sure yeah. Let's go Okay, yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad that we turned this session around to uh, from Simara is getting slaughtered by this weird lawyer bad to uh Hell yeah, we're fighting this dude for real. <laughs> <laughs> so um any questions from the party? Not really. I just want to get my short sword back. <laughs> I mean, I, I like that guy with an overpowered short sword, but I still want mine back. Mm -hmm. 
So that being said, um, if there are no further questions, I think we can return to this uh, to to the board. Yes. <laughs> I like that of the eight participants in this combat, we have to get four down before we get a before we get an initiative under twenty. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, mm. Goodman is going to um, look at each of you and say. Well, drat. So many friends if one can make in one day, but not you. And he's going to use bonus action to cast Shade Step up until here. Which is... Oh, he's gone. And he's right in front of the cat now. Right next to you as well, Stacy. And then he's going to make two weapon attacks against the cat. Let me just roll that real quick. Twenty-six and a twenty, which I believe hits. One of them hits, which also means. Um, Gonna deal 2d6 plus 12. Gonna deal how much damage? Oof. Gonna do 17. I can't. And since a, and you can see once again he is um he's crackling with electricity once more. So, and that's gotta be his turn. <laughs> Flora, it's your turn. I, I'm going to step over here to take out of the circle. Yep. And I'm going to shoot him, but I'm going to use my feet, my sharpshooter feet, and take a minus five to my attack roll. Which Go means ahead. if if I hit, um, it will be plus ten to the damage. Go ahead. Gambling, are we? Yes, we are gambling hard today. <laughs> Keep in mind that ten is only going to be added to your uh, weapon damage, to your piercing damage. <laughs> but my piercing damage is magical right now. Well, it's a 20. Okay, it's gonna hit. Okay, so it's gonna be a D8. Twice plus um, psychic damage. Give me the give me the physical damage first. Give me the piercing damage. Uh, so it's a seven plus ten, so it's seventeen. It's gonna be seventeen piercing damage. And then it's a two psychic damage. That's gonna be and... one psychic damage. And then it's going to be six lightning damage. Going to be minus. Going to be minus twelve lightning damage. And that's and going to be my. It's going to be a ten. Wonderful. Um, you can see the arrow hit some square in the neck. It goes right through, and it, he just kind of turns around to you. Like, hey, that's rude, and pulls the arrow out of his out of his throat. He gurgles a little bit, but then says, "Nice shot, but you have a few things to learn." And then, as if to demonstrate, he's going to stab the cat. We're just going to with one of his legendary actions. We're just going to be. Uh, do, 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 do. 
another plus 17, which is gonna hit. Ba -ba -ba. Not another 20 damage. Yep, there we go. Can I have Flora respond to that? Sure. Pretty sure attacking a cat is bad luck. <laughs> I assure you, this is not a cat. And I already have what? bad luck. <laughs> so do you hear this from across the battlefield? You say, what? <laughs> Rise, kick at your face. <laughs> so, um... The cat's gonna say... He's gonna have to do a little bit better. There's not much left in him and he can't attack any of you. Be quick. So, Stacy. Okay. So, um... Stacy... Um, yeah. Indeed, no. I need, yeah, yeah. I need to to think. Okay, I I can't go to Roberto. I would um, trigger the attack of opportunity. So you wouldn't, um, you wouldn't actually. I would not. No. Nope. Oh, nevertheless, I think I I do it a little bit differently. Yeah. Um. Stacy calls out for Roberto. So Roberto. And she she noticed that there's really no action, and she she cries a second time. It's a little bit softer, almost whiny. And uh, while calling out, you see a greenish light coming out of her fingers because um, I will cast with my bonus action. Um, what is its name? Uh, healing spirit, and I will well ignore the the, the healing thingies. I wanted to to um show you the the healing spirit thingy. Yes, make me. <laughs> and um, you see this this green light slowly slithering towards Roberto and you see it forming a little hamster but <laughs> it's it's not really in in a solid form it's like in a spirit form but with with this greenish light and um, yeah so this is the the healing spirit it manifests in on Roberto's chest um, but yeah um... Stacy realizes that there is nothing to be done about that. And she uh, cries a little tear and um, looks toward Goodman and says, I bet this is your doing. And um, with my action, I cast uh, a guiding bolt towards Goodman. Cast it. Ooh. Hmm. So yeah. Um, I rolled a critical twenty-seven. Crit That's a critical hit. I, I see. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. Sure. Um. You can see. You see the bolt go out to him. Uh, you can see it hit. It connects, and then it fizzles out into nothingness as he flaps his massive wings once, and then uh, chuckles at you. Being, oh, no. uh, being of, ele of pure elemental darkness, radiant damage does not affect him. However, the next attack against him is going to have advantage. This one time I rolled so good. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm in shambles. This is emotional damage. I'm a great DM, aren't I? <laughs> it's it's awesome. Mm. It's a big roller coaster ride. Emotional damage. But yeah, that's oh, Stacy's oh. turn. At so least we learned gone. something. Uh, come again. At least we learned something. Yeah. And knowing is half the battle. Hang on. Uh... Oh. Uh, Not Tom is going to look at you and um, 
with big black eyes, uh, Flora and say, I'm gonna need a bit more to seal him away. He can't hurt you, but I'm, but unfortunately, I don't think we're, we're gonna beat him this day either. Unless you lend me a little bit of your power. And if you want, you can give Notom um, one of your highest level spell slots. Uh, I only have one spell slot left, which is a level one spell slot. And so, you can mark that off. Okay. I will give Notom my last spell slot. Thank which you. is a level one spell slot. I do so, have some questions for you later. I hope you can answer them. I'll try my very best. So, not Tom. Oh, let's see, what else can she do? Okay, yeah, cool. It's gonna be not Tom's turn. Uh, it's your Mara, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I will look at Goodman, and I will talk to him in Sylvan. Um, yeah. I'm going to say, apparently, I can make a lot of friends in a day. And I do not believe that you have the um, ability to keep this up forever. So why don't you do the reasonable thing and simply leave for the moment? In fact, I, have, I do not wish for you to die just now. I have a lot of questions for you. A lot of, I think we have a lot to discuss in private, um, obviously. And can I hold my spell until he does something um, against one of my friends? Well, he can't do anything against any of your friends. But if, until, like, Except <laughs> not Tom the cat. <laughs> and Floa. <laughs> I'm trying to get She's not so, my friend yet. As it stands right now, he can attack the Flump, Mistal, and the Cat. Wait, mm. uh, no, no. you can also attack Flora since. I he thought Mistal. Why can't he attack her? Um, that's another another contract he made. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Um. But can I hold my spell until you like? You can hold your spell until you hold until you tell me that he doesn't. Okay. You're not holding it anymore. Yeah. yeah. Um, that being okay. said, he's going to uh, turn around from you and actually turn around to you and say, <laughs> "If you only you knew how many times I've tried to stop." There's a little bit of quiver in his voice uh, as he turns it back to the cat and says, "This quest I have to finish." And then I will figure out how to deal with you. The music. <laughs> Come again? The music score right beneath that what you were saying. It's like very hopeful. I have to finish this first. <laughs> and then I will deal with you. <laughs> also, um, I thought um, Sandy made Miss Del. Miss Del. Oh, a friend. Did they? Yeah, yeah. I think I rolled an eighteen on my little on my little friend D twenty. Okay, yeah. cool. So, uh, speaking of whom, it is now their turn. Mistel is going to uh, look a little frustrated. However, they're just a big smoke cloud that they should be feeling anything right now. Um, they're going to use. Ba -ba -ba. They're gonna use the full move. They're gonna use the movement to float over to um, Roberto, and then they're gonna turn back, using a free action into their old form. You can see the bird mask appears over the smoke cloud, and then sold us the rest of the cloak, which is kind of similar in color. And then they're gonna kneel over Roberto one more time and say, "I'm sorry to do this to you. I'd never ask for you to be pulled into this, but I am going to have to ask you for help." They're gonna cast Revivify on Roberto. <gasps> and... Uh, how much was the healing from the hamster? That was two, right? Two and two. Um, wait, let me check what... 
Uh, yeah, it was two. Yeah, but uh, it's um, only one d6 when the when it's the start of the turn for the person within the space. I'm just I'm just gonna rule that it is that we're gonna take that now. Okay, so it's then two it's, yes. Okay, and they come back. He comes back with three hit points. Um, you can see the flesh around his arm kind of starts to mend. The armor is still very much split, and what was a limp body a second ago starts twitching, and then he comes to with a. <gasps> oh, I fucking hate my job. <laughs> <laughs> he looks around him and um, realizes he's not where he used to be. He kind of uh, sinks, slumps back into a lying position and goes, oh. This can. And he slowly gets up, um, holding himself up on his greatsword. You can see he now wields it with one hand as his other arm is still gone. Um, yeah. That's gonna be Mistel's turn. Wait, let me check. Oh no! <laughs> and... Mistel is gonna look over at um, the Goodman and, like he tried to do earlier, he's, uh, they're going to summon a small dagger made of pure elemental darkness and they're gonna chuck it over at, um, at uh, Goodman. And since they also got enchanted by Nottum, it's also going to deal lightning damage. <laughs> Let me just roll all of that. <laughs> uh, so six. Gonna be, it's gonna be a hit, and it's gonna deal. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be d6 plus 6. Yeah. Gonna deal an additional 7 piercing. And. 10 lightning damage. Nice. Wait, uh... You can see, uh, Goodman looks extremely bad. He... his... one of his wings have, has gone limp since, from all the punishment he's taken. And he's oozing some kind of black liquid all over him, but... He still seems very intent on killing that cat. So, uh, Snake Lord, Snake Lord, Snake Lord, Snake Lord. Oh, wait, that's me. Snake Lord, Snake Lord is gonna run. You better run. 30, yeah, I can get to around. I'm gonna the I river, I guess. roll initiative for the, the, the flump. flump I thought the flump was just gonna move right next to me. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, that's 13 for the flump. Fluff comes before me. Uh huh. Listen, you're all pretty bad. Uh -huh. That's not I shame. know. Uh, I'm gonna get as close as I can with just my movement. Which is 40 feet at this point. Yep. Because I attacked. Um. So let me see here. So you can come up to. Here. Mm -hmm. No, 40, yeah, not 50, right? That's 40. Okay. Uh, and then I want to try something. Yeah. I'm going to, yeah, range 30 feet is going to work. I'm going to cast Suggestion. But it's yeah, not that gonna strong. Yeah, going to be a Wisdom Saving Throw. Yeah, DC 10 Wisdom Saving Throw only. I'm not a spellcaster. Tell you what. It's gonna yeah. succeed. Uh never mind. Um, what does it look like when you attempt to cast a spell on, on Since it uses a snake tongue and either a bit of honeycomb or a drop of sweet oil? It's just I just imagine me spraying a bit of honey in my mouth and say, listen up here. 
Hmm? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just me say, using honey. <laughs> you start saying, listen up here, you can see the arcane energy flowing around Seri and then go out as Goodman, very much close to death, apparently, but still holding up. Um, just kind of shrugs it off and says, <laughs> I've, li I've heard more than enough from you, I believe. Um, cool. Uh, okay, that's Goodman, it. <laughs> that's gonna be a turn. It's the end of the turn. Danny, roll a d10 for me, please. Uh, I don't have a t10, so... Uh, am I doing this wrong? Um, to the uh, roll 20 check and put forward slash R space uh, D10. Okay. Roll a six. Dreams can never hurt me. The creature inside with the low the creature inside the demi plane with the lowest AC has it doubled. Um, Flora, what's your AC? Uh didn't. No, I have a bad idea. Can everyone just please put their AC in chat? Yep. Sixteen, sixteen. Fifteen for the, for Dan for Flora. Sadie, what's your AC? Fifteen. Fifteen, fifteen. I don't wanna do this to all of you, but the flump is gonna have its AC doubled. <laughs> 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 <Nice>. <laughs> Good for the flump. Good boy flump. 7 HP, 24 AC, hot damn. <laughs> At least, probably, the flump will survive. Can we bring it home afterwards? Yeah, sure, sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be a mascot. Can I have um, a <laughs> So, thank you for that, Flora. Um, now we're back at the top of the round, which means um, it's time for Goodman to deal some damage. And so... Hmm. So, let's see here. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Okay, uh... He's gonna cast Fear, using his action. Let's see, what's the, what's the radius here? That's gonna be 4, uh, 20, 20 feet. So, it's gonna be... Why did I have to move? It's gonna be all of you. Give me an, intel give me an intelligence saving throw, please, all of you. Oh, uh, why not wisdom? I don't make the rules, except I do. <laughs> Look at me critting dead. Yes. Yeah, well done. So. Nice. Nice! Okay, that's all awesome. of you. Let me just see what it's like for Roberto. Even the uh, dumb boy can do it. It's gonna be a straight check for Roberto. It's the power of friendship. Oh no! <laughs> no, Roberto, no! <laughs> He's oh. not having a good day. <laughs> Roberto's <laughs> very bad day. He doesn't make the rules, he just digs them up and writes them down. Mm. <laughs> good one, yeah. Ice. Uh, which means... Uh, so, let's see here. Tamara, you are feared. I am feared, uh, alright. So is Antir. Ah. Uh, so I'm just gonna mark that down over here. I'm gonna uh, give you a fear. So like frightened, right? You're frightened. Yeah. yeah. Let me just read out to you what that means. In a moment. 
it's gonna same goes for the person who has crazy wisdom and uh, wait wisdom that was intelligence oh god damn it franny what have you done i need to roll again so roberto has a plus nine to intelligence saves so significantly better than the plus zero so it's 11 then uh yeah i guess so wait a moment so we got a 11 for roberto and a 13 for mistil which still fails so see you for one turn i believe okay hmm. Creatures, mm -hmm. creatures afflicted with fear cannot move and have disadvantage on attacks against the caster, which in this case is uh, Goodman. On this here dreamscape, he flaps his wing, his wings once, which is a lot louder than it should be. And for some, and for a short moment, you hear the the most frightening sound you've ever heard, echoed in that flap of wings. And. The fear is set so deep that it is paralyzing to the two of you. Just for flavor, City, what do you think is the worst sound you ever heard? Um, a burning building collapsing? This, oh. this, no, it's during the building collapsing, a scream suddenly going silent. Ugh. That's, that's pretty fucking scary, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Gum is also going to use his bonus action to dab. Gonna fucking stab. Uh, actually, no. He's going to cast Shades Mark against not Tom. Uh, I'm just gonna make that look like. Hmm. I'll make that look like this. Shades Mark is like Hunter's Mark, but worse. <laughs> uh oh. So, you can also. So after he flaps his wings, he um, inclines his head towards uh, Not Tom and whispers a short incantation. And the lightning aura on Not Tom suddenly goes very staticky. And they look very irritated all of a sudden. Okay, so Stacy, it's your turn. But before that, can I let go of the spell I was holding? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a disadvantage, right? Because it's frightened. Mm -hmm. uh, only if it's a spell attack. It is. A, it is fireball. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, let me hit that bad boy twice. Oh, stop. <gasps> okay, so twenty-three. Gonna hit. Nice. Let's the just one. Hope he's not resistant to fire damage. So that's 5 plus 6 because of the Staff of Burning, so 11. Gonna be reduced down to 6 fire damage. He staggers at this. I mean, I told him to leave. Thank <laughs> you. And he told you he cannot. Stacy! That's not my problem. <laughs> you heard the flap of the wings and you thought, wow, that's, a, that's kind of a cheap party trick. <laughs> and now we're here. <laughs> um. First of all, with my bonus action, I will cast a healing word on a not Tom. Yep. And uh, this also triggers my chalice. Yep. Uh, you, I did mention that uh, Roberto came back with four hit points, right? Yes. <laughs> Good. I thought it was three hit points. <laughs> Come again? I thought it was three hit points. And no, I, right. I will use uh, this one D8 plus five for Roberto. Yeah. So while doing this, uh, Stacy says, not Tom, please hold out a little bit longer. And Roberto, I hope you're doing fine. <laughs> and um, with my... Yeah. Yes. 
I, I need to think with my action anyway, so it's fine. You can give your flavor. He says, Well, oh, considering the circumstances, I'm fucking paycheck. Oh, that guy's scary. <laughs> he was, in fact, not fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will take a step towards good men. While taking this step, you can see that Daisy's nails um, begin to enlarge and get uh, like in the shape of the claws from an amandillo. Yeah. And um, Stacy scratches a good man with primal savagery, or tries at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. I guess a 12 will not hit. Unfortunately, the 12 will not hit. Okay, uh, while t uh, stepping towards Goodman and preparing to claw him, uh, Stacy unfortunately trips over a, a little pebble and loses her balance and no. does barely miss Goodman. And that's uh, it. So, uh, you brought somebody back from the brink. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Flora. Not sure up. we'll put him there on the brink, but. Okay. Um. I'm gonna use my feet again. I'm gonna gamble again. And yep. use sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. The scout mean fear, yes, eyes. Ooh. 20. Plus 7. Oh, 20 plus 7. That's going to hit, yes. Yes, plus 7 minus 5. So 22. Yep. So that's also a crit, right? Because the I rolled the 20. The dirty 20, it's not a crit. No, I rolled the 20 20. You rolled a natural 20? Yeah. Okay, uh, you can double the damage on all the damage die, and it does hit. Meaning, um, you roll your d you roll your d8, um, and double that. You roll your d8 for the lightning damage, and also double that, and then you roll your d4 for like for psychic damage, I think. Yeah, and mine's double that. Psych so it's four d8 So it would be. Four times two, so that's eight piercing plus a ten from the sharp to their feet. Okay. And then the two um oh lightning damage which would be four. And then uh four psychic damage, which is four, because I doubled that. Um, you reduce him to zero hit points with your physical damage. Okay. However, um, what does it look like when you kill Goodman? Ooh. Don't say hoo hoo yet. Aww. Um. I, I kind of just want, like, similar to, like, how it was before, like, when I shot him through, like, the throat. Yeah. Um. It just goes through his throat and it's like, I guess my aim's got a little bit better again since last time. You shoot him straight through the head. And your uh, two arrow, The arrow. And your, and your two blade. A bad name. <laughs> uh, first of all, um, take the power and breath. So uh, let's just say that initiative doesn't drop just yet. Uh, you kill him. He falls to the ground. He slumps. Uh, however, uh, Mistel, still afraid of, uh, the, of the spell he just cast, uh, from the spell he just cast, now looks even more scared that you killed him. And they say, Oh, no, this does not bode well. Uh, so does not Tom, and she talks in her head. She says, Ah, oh, that was a very good shot, unfortunately. Oh. Uh, I think 
I think we're not done dealing with him. And yeah. For this for this round he's out. So Can I get my short sword back? Uh sure. You wanna walk up to him and just grab it? Yes. You can add your short sword back to inventory. Hey. Yee. Hey. Uh, is that going to be a turn? Yep. Uh, on his turn, uh, Robert is going to try to repeat his intelligence save. Yay! He's no longer frightened. Hey. <laughs> he's going to step over to. Uh, he's going to step over to uh, not to Goodman and check on his corpse. Which, by all all... accounts, he, he appears to be limp and dead. And he looks over at you, Stacy, and he gives you a very pained but honest smile. No. Not only is he back, is he move. glad to. He was glad to be back to the living, but now he's even gladder seeing you. Seeing all of you. So, uh, he knows that even if he dies now, he's not gonna die alone. Uh, not Tom is going to turn to you, Sally, and say, We're not done yet, even though it might look like that. I'm going to need all the power you can give me. Hmm. Uh, Sally, you have a key, you have key points, right? Ah, uh, yes, I was wondering what power did Tom, not Tom means. I have you can three expend, key points. Left. You can expend any number of them. I give him uh, them two key points. Can I do the quick math? I think we are. I think we're at three now. Yeah. We are at three now. I have. I Come keep. On. I'm keeping one for myself. The three charges. Very. Very. Thank you very much. And so the cat also thinks he has. Thank you. We might. We might get out of this alive. Um, that's gonna be the cat's turn. Tiamara, you're still frightened. You may repeat your intelligence save and throw, uh, using an action. I will do that. Where is it? There it is. That's not good. <laughs> Remain um, frightened until the end but, of your turn. But I heard, like, who said that we are apparently not, not done with him or that he's not done with us? About Goodman, um, the cat, you, or you saw Flora shoot him in the head. He's yes, dead very sad, very sad. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> upset by this, both the player and the character. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, I get. I just won't do anything. <laughs> you see, is so far away. <laughs> Okay, you're no longer frightened. Uh, and we turn over to the plump. Who comes, uh, flown over. Um, one moment. God, why are you so far north? I'm <laughs> flown over to some like. Yeah, flown. So, uh. You still eating that? Just kind of pointing at Goodman. Uh, you can have it. Ah, oh, cheers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Mistle's turn. Mistle is gonna return. It's gonna uh, repeat their charging saving throw. And make it. Then they step up to Goodman and uh, put a hand on his shoulder and cast Healing Word, which is gonna be... On Goodman or on Roberto? Uh, on Roberto. Okay. 34 plus... Mm. Yeehaw! Plus Wisdom, I believe. Yep. There we go. For 12 hit points. And he looks up to, uh, to Mistle, who he hasn't really noticed until now. He noticed that uh, there is a to him, but he didn't really have time to register that. And he says, uh, 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 Cheers, uh, big guy. And Mistle nods and says, Not all the blue yet. He can take it when we're finished. 
steady, it's your turn. Make, uh, you can use an action to repeat your intelligence saving throw. Yeah, like. that is what I'm going to do. How much do I need to get on my int? Uh, 20. That's impossible. You can roll. You can roll natural twenty. Yeah, that's the only. That's the only way I can get out because I have yeah, minus so it's one. Yeah, possible. <laughs> See, okay, you remain frightened for the rest of your turn. Mm. So, top of the round, Siomara, please give me a d10 roll. Yes, of of course, there it is. <laughs> that's an eight. Let's see what you get. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no, not the friend cackle. Yeah, oh, not the no. freckle. <laughs> it is time. It is time. It is time. Oh god. What's a good man doing? <laughs> He's not doing anything yet. <laughs> You're in um, danger. <laughs> let me explain to you what's what's going on. Um Yeah. Since you're on a dream plane, um, sometimes errant thoughts can manifest uh, creatures, things, events that happen. In this case, um, all the negative thoughts that uh, Siomara had unfortunately manifested the uh -oh. spectator. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I simply did up enough already! Not a spectator. I only had negative thoughts today. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Luckily, we didn't drop initiative, so I'm still in my sweet chalice form. Sweet, sweet chalice form. Yep. Spectator. They're gonna go after Mistle, though. So, for one turn, you have a spectator to deal with. For one turn. Um, you can see, um... An eyeball appears out of thin air. It's a big, weird eyeball. It was kind of like one of um, Siamara's ice blue eyes. <laughs> and then it stares at you, and then it manifests four other eyeballs, and, they, and then the rest of the body manifests along with a big, toothy mouth and a long tongue. A toothy mouth. And, <laughs> and it just starts screaming at you. <laughs> Sorry, <be> guys. <laughs> 39. Wait. Sometimes, sometimes you just have a day, and you just yeah. manifest a specter. Poor, it's just going to curse in like primordial. You have fiddlesticks. <laughs> <laughs> so, Goodman, we are now back to the top of the round. It is now Goodman's turn. The corpse of Goodman starts starts twitching a little bit, and he gets up. Looking a little out of shape, uh, flaps his wings and restores all of his HP. Damn it, Dark Souls bosses! It's the second and turn! You can see something changes about his appearance. His wings? They looked kind of moth like before, but now they. they, they look kind of avian. And you can hear his voice has changed a little bit too, and he says. Ah, you fools. This so, is not um, even my final form. Nope. <laughs> um, he's going to... He's going to um, clutch his head and start screaming as all of you are knocked five feet back. Oh no. Uh, including the spectator. Nice. And he's going to grow... Hang on. He's going to transform Hello. himself into... Thank you, what the fuck, orc. <laughs> Welcome in, new oh, raiders. Nice. So, let me, no. just, let me just pull up the stat block. He's yeah. going to turn himself into... Um, what appears to be a large wyvern. Only it is completely black and orc. oozing black ichor. Uh, so yeah, let me just see. That's large. That's gonna be two by two squares, I believe. So, uh, for for the raiders catching you up, we just we're currently just hanging out in the dreamscape. 
with uh, Xiomara's old negative feelings just manifesting in the form of a specter. Also, the guy they just killed had a second boss phase and now he turned himself into a dragon. <laughs> We're no, level I, I, four, I by the way. I what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> We're all level four, by the way. <laughs> you make me sound like a psychopath. Thank you. Maybe. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, five of us are like protected, yeah? <laughs> like... The only person that we need to fear for their life is the cat and Roberto again. <laughs> <laughs> Roberto died. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful time. <laughs> Very well. Um, so, and let's just see what kind of bonus action. What kind of bonus action did I give you? Uh, it's got a swing around its stinger, and um, like you can see, its long, its long black tail has a barbed stinger on it. I'm just gonna use that stinger to swing at uh, not Tom. It's That's going to be uh, slightly less overpowered than his weapon attacks. You say? Mm -hmm. I say. And he will just miss. You can see the horrible undead abomination he's turned into screech. As you can all hear in your head that I told you I cannot quit until she is dead. And even if I have to take all of you with me, even if you have to kill me another million times, I will finish my job. It's gonna be his turn. Flora! Oh boy. <laughs> um so now we have the spectator to do with? Yeah, and... the spectator and Goodman, who's now a dragon. Okay. Uh... Not the dragman. Um. Uh. Okay. Can I move here? Yeah. Please. Um. I don't want um, Sandy to get hurt by the spectator, so I'm going to attack the spectator. And I've done enough gambling for the day, so I'm just going to shoot it regularly. Thank you, the Thank you for the follow, Satarash. The spectator is only going to be here for one turn. So. Are you telling me I should gamble? Gamba! Um, I'm not saying whatever to do, but if you're gonna shoot an arrow into that thing, uh, it's gonna disappear at the end of the round, so... Fine, I'll gamble on the spectator. I'll use my sharpshooter. Yeah, sure. Da -da -da. So does a 20 hit? It's gonna hit. Okay. Oh. I realized I forgot I was not adding my plus 5 damage. My buff. So what does it come down to? Uh... Eight piercing damage, um, two psychic damage, six cold damage. <laughs> well, technically, eighteen piercing damage. And two thunder dam, two lightning damage. Sorry. Okay, third bit of damage right at the top of the round. Can not do anything else? Uh, I can't really do anything else. Yeah, you're out of spell slots. Yeah. <laughs> I gave it all to the cat. <laughs> gave it all to the cat. Thank you, Jester Jules. I'm guessing... Wait, no. Yep, no. Shades Mark is not a concentration spell, therefore it did not drop when he was reduced to nothing, so... What? Oh, that's, your turn. that's your turn. I mean, it is a difference from Hunter's Mark, she did say. Yep. So everyone does mark, it does more damage, and it's not concentration. You just apply it. 
Uh, did I mention you were supposed to fight him at level 16? A, a couple yes. of times, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, Stacy, it's your turn. Okay, so... Um... Do all the resistance Goodman had in oh. the first Sorry. phase take over the to the second? One moment, Flora, yes. I forgot to add the plus five. <laughs> plus five what? <laughs> to piercing damage. You got it. Okay, Stacy. What was the question? Um... That the resistances of good men from his first phase, do they carry over to the second phase? Or is it now... Uh, I will tell you, um, effectively he has wild shaped into a different creature, meaning <laughs> he now has the stats of the new creature until his wild shape is interrupted. Okay, good. So I could possibly damage him with Guiding Bolt if I wanted to, I see. If I you see. wanted to, you might. Uh, you don't know what kind of resistance a Shadow Woman has. I should know because I made that monster <laughs> up. <laughs> ah, because I am a Shadow Woman. <laughs> <laughs> But instead of guiding bolt, I will use uh, produce flame. So what Stacy does is um, she she puts out her hand with the palm up uh, facing the guy, more or less, and she concentrates really hard and a little flame occurs there and it grows um, it grows in size to like a baseball size yeah. and she throws this flame towards Goodman hopefully successfully okay give me the attack roll 20 it's a 20 that will hit. Nice. Okay. Two damage. Going to be one damage. Nice. At least one damage. So, uh, uh, while Stacy throws this little flame towards Goodman, she says, See what I picked up from Sandy? Take that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, you think the power of friendship will foil me? <laughs> and you hear the laughing in your head. But on the outside, the real world, or I guess the dream world, the shadow women is just screeching. It's going, yeah. <laughs> so, is that your turn? Yes, this is my turn. Okay, one moment. Yep, so it's gonna be uh, Roberto's turn, and he's going to take a deep breath um, and take this great sword that he had, uh, which he now, which he can now only wield with one hand. So he slowly steps towards the Hydra and uh, towards the Wyvern and just starts pummeling it. Uh, he did not get the enchantment. Fortunately, so let's just see. Let's just adapt. So, it's still gonna be a plus 10 to hit, I believe. Thank you, Daramon. 51, 30, 20. It's gonna be. Uh, that's gonna be a hit. Oi. Goodman is gonna. Ba, 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 ba. No, not Goodman. Uh, Roberto is gonna. Come on, Roberto. Still 1d8 plus 9. Our cheerleader dead. <laughs> Chili. We're just gonna deal 6 physical damage. Right. And as a bonus action, he is going to. He's going to second win to restore 1d10 plus 1. I guess, wait. Should be 1d10 plus 10. Since he's no longer 4th level. 
gonna restore 12 hit points. Yay! Oh. You can see him um, as he takes a deep breath. You can see his stature improving a little bit. <laughs> so his beard and his eyes are kind of caked with blood. He rubs that aside with his one remaining hand, takes his great sword and stabs the um, the, uh, the woman with it, who shrieks. So she, so it doesn't seem that affected by it. It's gonna be not Tom's turn. Not Tom is gonna turn to Mistle and exchange a glance. And then Mistle sighs and bows. And you can see the electrical charge around Not Tom getting uh, <coughs> much brighter. It's gonna be five charges from you for you. So, and as a bonus action, um, she's also going to um, enchant Roberto's armaments to make sure he also deals lightning damage. So, Tiamara, it's your turn. You're standing right next yes. to the spectator. Um, there's a lot has happened since the last turn. There's a spectator next to me. The corpse of my favorite NPC turned into something else um <laughs> am i still frightened yes or no 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 okay oh, wait let, let me first remove that condition then because i didn't quite get that the last time yeah. um is that the same oh, for me right. by the way yes okay. um but i'm sitting right now mm. <laughs> I think the spectator kind of pales in regards to the other stuff that has happened. So I will cast um, Ice Knife on Goodman. I like that spell. Well, doesn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Which I believe means I need to make a dexterity save. A... Yes, yes. Which, in this case, is a... Uh, excuse me. Succeeds. Which means mm, I take no um, damage, but, right? Um, no damage, um, but each creature five feet away from uh, him also needs to do a dexterity saving throw. Because the ice... Yes, five feet. That's nobody. Okay, good, good. Yeah, then then just didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Well, do we also learn that he's immune to ice? But he has the stat block of the um the Vyron right now, which yeah, uh, yeah you don't yeah. know you don't know yeah. if the women is is resistant. Yeah, so this, I just so... like took my chances. <laughs> yeah, took your chances. Okay, otherwise I think I will try to step back a little bit, but like in in the direction of Flora, so not too close to the um, abyss. Okay, that's gonna be an attack of opportunity from the uh, spectator, unfortunately. I mean, hit me. Hit me, Specky, one more time! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it's gonna bite you. Aww. And 17, does that hit? That hits. Gonna be... Uh... <laughs> oh no! Oh fuck, uh, wait. This is really funny. It's gonna be two uh, piercing damage. <laughs> I, I cannot believe my, my uh, bad thoughts are just against me right now. <laughs> You can see the fast uh, bite at you for a moment, and uh, it doesn't really do much, but you're kind of... You're a little, you're a little, little bit more bummed now. Yeah, okay. man. Flumpy, let's see what you can do. Let me just say, uh... Come on, Flumpy, you can do it. Stand spray, oh my god, that's funny. Come on, Jeff, kill him. Wait, the Stanish doesn't do anything. No. <laughs> Sounds funny. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like Baldur's Gate 3 where um, the gas can use Stench to make you not take actions. 
What does uh, the stat blocks of a flop? <laughs> I'll, I'll show you. I'll share. I'm using the official stat block. I could have prepared like a custom one, but I nah. didn't want to. I didn't want to write too much because like there's already so many resources I can use. <laughs> Understandable. Um, yeah. Tom's gonna fly over and um try to beat the shit out of your uh your invasive intrusive thoughts. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. use the tendrils. Uh wait, 36, that's gonna be twelve maximum. Uh which is gonna be a plus four to hit, I believe. Yep. Again, poison. Plus four, indeed, indeed. Which will not hit, unfortunately. You can see um, the flum no. floats over to the uh, spectator and just kind of starts bitch slapping the thing with its um, uh, with its tendrils, but they don't do anything. And the spectator looks very irritated. And the flump goes, "Oh, sorry, man. I really tried." <laughs> he tried his best. Yep. Mistel is. Uh, not impressed, first of all. Second of all... <laughs> um... They are going to... <laughs> They're gonna use the bonus action to turn into an owlbear. So, you can see, as they did before, they're gonna transform once more. And, uh, they put all paws on the ground and you can see the beak kind of curve inwards uh, as the mask still stays on the face but it kind of morphs around the rest of the body which is now turning into a big feathered beast let me look up the stat block for for an owlbear real quick and then they're going to walk over to the wyvern and also sl try slapping the shit out of it so One moment. Let's hope it's on D let's hope it's on D and D Beyond. <laughs> Yay! It is. Nice. So it's going to do a multi attack, um, using the claws twice, uh, which is going to be a plus seven. Come on, man! Give me the other roll, too. <laughs> Another one. Going to be a 14 and 12. The 14 is going to hit. Dealing... Uh, 24 plus 5. Uh, 28 plus 5. 28 plus 5. And a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> and another 1d8 lightning damage. Which is gonna be the full 8. Uh, yep. Unfortunately, he's no longer weak to uh, lightning damage. Yeah. Oh no, wait, Motom actually ca cast the spell again, which means you all also got it. Ooh. So. Oh, wait, no. No, this just means you still get a lightning damage, but he's no longer weak to it. Okay, okay. Nah. I got it, I got it. So, spectator, show us what you can do. I got four eye rays that I can use. <laughs> first things first, confusion ray. Mm -hmm. uh, Seri, do you mind giving me a wisdom saving throw? This is a magical effect, if I'm not mistaken. Correct, means, means you can do it at advantage. Indeed. Quantit style. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, it's two good ones. Succeed. Uh, cool, you. <laughs> Next one, Paralyzing Ray. Flora, give me a Constitution saving throw. Constitution. Uh... <laughs> Constitution of Canada. Can you cite it off by heart? <laughs> Why is it gotta be constitution? 
one of the main authors for uh, the Forgotten Realm setting, a guy called Ed Greenwood, absolute weirdo, who looks like a wizard. He's also from Canada, by the way. <laughs> you succeed the constitution paving throw. Amazingly. Nice. Um, next one. I Fury. don't want to be paralyzed again. <laughs> Fury, uh, Stacy, give me a wisdom saving throw. Woo. Okay, good, good, good. Wow. What? That will do it! <laughs> Ooh! Good that my modifier is so high because and I finally, rolled so poorly. Oh, wow, you rolled a five. The ray. Um, the ray. Let me just see for a moment. Oh, that's funny. It's gonna shoot one last beam from its fourth eye against, uh, from its fifth eye, I guess, against the Shadow Wyvern, which is gonna be. Have to make a Constitution saving throw. Plus seven. Which will make it. And. Which means he's going to attack. 3d10. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this to myself? So he would take four necrotic damage if he wasn't immune to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I rolled to know. that anyway, just just cause, just for the bit. Steady. You have the sweet uh, talent of initiative. Tell us what you're gonna do. But I want I wanted to ask. It, it was not Tom who put us here, right? Not Tom created this demi plane and put you all here, yes. I look at them and ask Can you can you trap something in here? No. Unfortunately everything I take with me here also has to come out with me. Fuck. Uh and excluding those and she raises a paw at the spectator and the flump. Uh I'm gonna because I'm no longer frightened, I'm gonna move up towards Goodman. Well, Shadow Goodman. To the to the women. To the women. And I'm uh, gonna use my dagger, which is plus one and magic. And I fumble. Who's ah? I, I wait. I had something. I have an item for this. My bangle. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm using my bangle of hidden strikes to turn this into a critical success. Nice. Very cool. Well, <laughs> what's better than putting it into a crit? <laughs> That's uh, 7 and... 2... 9? Well, you, uh, yeah, the modifier is only natural. once, right? Come again? The modifier is only once. The modifier is only once. Yeah, so it's seven and two, nine. No, wait, I'm used. Yeah, no, seven and two, so it's. Ah, uh, but it's supposed to be eight and two. So you could have just uh, rolled ten. your die, doubled them, and then added your modifier. Yeah, I could have. I didn't. It's ten piercing damage. Uh, roll the lightning damage too, please. Yes, that's also critted normally then. Yep, that's 1d8. So now it's 2d8. 14 lightning damage. It is 1d8 doubles, not 2d8. <laughs> but for oh yeah, well, yeah, I rolled 7 twice, so yeah. <laughs> yep, doesn't matter. So you're gonna deal um, 11 plus 14 damage total, right? Yes. Only the critical damage is also no. So it's 11 plus 28, which is 39. Yeah. In oh. a single attack. Not bad. <laughs> Wait, I'm not done, eh? Then I can, as ah. a bonus action, still do uh, an Learn unarmed those? strike. Oh. <laughs> Prompt for next session is gonna be use flurry of blows to kill an attacker. Yeah, but that's miss. <laughs> gonna miss, unfortunately. Yeah. Can't have them all. Alright, that's it yeah. for me. 
You can hear the Shadow Woman groan. There's no bunch of black anchor on your fists. It's, it it kind of hurts. That's um, a big damage. Oh. <laughs> no. Oof. So, top of the round, spectator disappears. Poof. So does the plump. Poof. No! <laughs> Uh, who hasn't rolled today yet? Holster, have you rolled a d10 for us yet? No, I haven't. Go ahead. You also have a lot of negative emotions. <laughs> <laughs> another, another one. Nice. Ooh. Ten. Mm. Amazing. Day oh, sex wait, no, that's time. not amazing. That's not amazing <laughs> at all. Wait, what? <laughs> Another uh -oh. dragon appears. Uh -oh. Let's see what I did. Uh, I'm gonna post the table in chat. Uh -huh. Oh god. Uh -oh. <laughs> then, and then everyone died. What? <laughs> oh no. Within the play needs to make a charisma save. Um, oh no. DC 13 charisma. It is wow. something that the, the, the party is clearly lacking. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. A safe, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, I made it! it. Yes. Of course, it must be charisma save. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna roll for yeah, the women too. So... <laughs> We're all oh. so charismatic. Poor... Oh, poor. So charisma. Oh. Everybody's fine for now. But man, you're gonna fail this. I have. I. I can feel so it. So the party is all fun. I get that right, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. That's that was one roll for one of the is this... NPCs. Is this uh -oh. good, man? I hope uh, so, but I doubt. I'm gonna tell you. Wait. Wait a moment, okay? Wait a moment. That's gonna. The other one's gonna be plus four. Oh, oh! No. Uh -huh. oh, that's that's probably and like the vixen final and, one? Not, and. What have I done? Not so burn. What happened? See you down, Kunsti. We're really putting that oh. poor man through it today, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Oh. He died like yeah. twice now. <laughs> that's good. No, plus zero. Please let this be. I'm no, but it's it's the it's save, it's okay? It's the... So oh! Dead. Uh, once again. Was dying. No! But also, no! No! Min no! Look, Minta Mintara? So I'm, going to just, I'm going to set the scene. I'm going to tell you what happens. Um, you have an errant thought. You thought about like, oh no, what if none of us make it? And <laughs> then it becomes reality. And you can see a shockwave going throughout the entire planescape. It kind of lose integrity. Floating islands you're on kind of start uh, wobbling. And then each of you is. Uh, it starts glowing with a bright white light. And when the light disappears, um, the woman is on the. is once again limp on the ground. Uh, <laughs> but as is Mistel. Oh, not Mistel. So let me just check. At least not Tom and Robert who made it. Did not Tom even roll? You, you take, you give me my friend back and you take them away. <laughs> well, I didn't do that. Stacy did. <laughs> well, well, I think Maybe both Flora and Stacy now killed uh, Roberto. So, you have a dead <laughs> Alba and a dead, uh, and a dead Shadow Woman. That's gonna bring us back to the top. So, the Shadow Woman is going to transform back into Goodman, who once again gets up, says, Oh, well, that was weird. I'm not Sorry. done with you either. Uh, yeah, that's going to be him back to the one Max. You can see uh, his wings are now fully looking like uh, feathery bird wings. And one of his gauntlets pops off, and you can see um, his hand looks like a bird's talon. There's something... He's transforming every time he dies and comes back in some way. I don't want to do this, this all these boss fights with all these phases. <laughs> well, listen, we're not quite... It's so funny that that happened on the last round, because this is the last round. I'm going to tell you why. 
Um, all the charges not from collected are going to come to use now. They're going to oh. use four of the five charges to use greater, greater, greater petrification at the start of the turn. Uh, meaning, not from, um, it's going to gather all of the, um, there's, there's like little modes that are kind of like stars floating around the deemscape, and they all start swirling around her. And uh, she focuses with her pitch black eyes on not on, uh, on Goodman, who's now back. And she goes, <laughs> you know, as cats like to do. And before you can say another word, he's petrified. Oh, thank so, God. Not Tom used greater petrification. Petrifies a creature. There is no contested saving throw. They simply become stone. If they are not freed from this after three turns, they crumble and die. Uh, which means disintegrated. Um, creatures killed this way cannot be resurrected without true resurrection. So, and with that, initiative drops. Oh. You can also see um, the Albert turns turns into a pop up, turns to a cloud of smoke and disappears. So I'm gonna put you back into the dormitory. As not Tom um, sighs a heavy relief, uh, flops to the ground and. You're all transported back into a much more cramped space as you're back in the dormitory. Still messy, there's still blood everywhere, it's still very um, unfortunate. And it's just the four of you, a cat, and your beloved guardsman. Huh. And here you are again. And he says, oh. He looks at you for a moment, see your says, you know, the weirdest shit happens at the university. Nice room, though. For sure. <laughs> Sorry about your room. I didn't mean to, you know, blade all over the place. And... Where's my arm? Oh, damn it. Uh, he walks into your room, and um, before he starts to grab his arm, he thinks better of himself, and he uh, comes back out, kind of hides the arm behind his back. He looks very beat up still, and he turns to the cat and says, well, I suppose we have you to thank for the timely rescue, even though I didn't know we needed it. And he takes a deep bow. Uh, he, he kneels down to the cat and uh, pets her with his, with his good arm. So, party. What's it gonna be? Um, we can't just question. end it now, I just noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Basically <laughs> half twelve. <laughs> yep. So unless there's anything you urgently want to do, I say, we end the session for now and then turn over to the um, Q&A section once more. I just have one question. Like, Goodman didn't come back with us, right? Uh, Goodman, no. Okay, yeah, good. And, then... And... Because no one was gonna free him after uh, after three turns, he is disintegrated into dust. And, um, what happened to Miss Del? They turned to a puff of smoke. Though, uh, it feels cruel to just kind of leave you like that. I'm going to tell you what Mistel stat block says, okay? Uh, let's see here. Limited eternality. Thanks to their curse, Mistel cannot die. When reduced to zero hit points, they disappear into a cloud of black smoke and appear one minute later in a place of their choosing. However, every time they regenerate this way, they forget 1d6 years of memories from before their curse. Oh okay. no, they might have forgotten me! Yeah, From that's... before their curse. Four oh, years! Four years, four years oh. of their childhood gone. My anyway. god. So they didn't forget me. Maybe. No, they, they probably met you long after the curse, so... I'm assuming you all take a deep breather and... Uh, recuperate right. yourself as... Out of the hallway... A puff of smoke appears. And the, the puff um, forms up into a tall humanoid figure as Mistel once again appears. And they turn to you and say, I did not expect you to survive. Well done. Um, and that's going to be the end of today's session. Before, hey. we, before we end that, can you have yeah. Flora do one last thing? I'm loath to say yes. Go ahead. <laughs> 
Can I just have Flora run over and hug Miss Dell? Yes, and they seem very surprised at this. Like they're doing that thing where they um where they where they um, moved up their shoulders and they're kind of staying there with their arms spread out. They're like, oh, okay. They look kind of like a cat being uh held up by their neck, and they're like, oh, okay. And they very gently hunt hug you back. So. Great end up to the episode. Uh, <laughs> you all passed my challenge. You all did my prompt. Amazed. I'm so amazed. Um, please. Um, all of you on your character sheets, note down. Uh, you have one use of divine intervention. And let me just write down in chat what that means. No. Other. Once, next session, and only next session, and only once, you can turn any role into a crit. Damn, As reward nice. for your inspired deeds today. Thank you all for playing in the space with me. Uh, I was glad that it's... <laughs> that despite everything, we still managed to have fun. Today was basically just one large combat encounter. A big one. You made it. <laughs>